Hold up. Don't you make me think that I'm running. No job. No, 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 Microphone check, one, two, what is this? Welcome to episode 373 of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Budden, here with a few of my nearest and dearest. Brother Maul is here with me. Parks Valley is here. Rory is here. Erickson is here. Savon the Don is here. And Alex the Great is here. And Baze is here. Hey, yeah. Baze. Young Baisley is here. How's everybody doing? What's going on? Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. You know, this and that. <laughs> <laughs> some of this, some of that. Yeah. Summer's right. over. How was everyone's weekend? It was great. It was we got cool. to see the family finally. Yeah, it was oh, cool. yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah? Took the trip. Basically, what's up? Yeah, I heard you were uh, out on the lake. Yeah, I was laking it up. Yeah, street, streets told oh, me you was man, laking. That's a good, that's a good yeah, weekend. Yeah, it was nice. Nice relaxing. Although I was cooking the whole time. Fishing? Uh, I did not fish. You didn't fish? I got bagged once for fishing. I'm scared to go back. You got bagged? Yeah, I didn't have a license. You have to have oh, a license okay, yeah. to fish? Yeah. Certain, certain waters, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sure. I, Not I the lakes and rivers weekend. that I'm used to. I'm sorry, buddy. Mr. Especially Grill. on Saturday night. <laughs> Mr. Grill. Yeah, man, I missed him. Yeah, you tweeted what, what y'all on tonight, and I was going to respond with the grill, but I felt like that would have been mean. Did you make the lamb chops it been. by the lake? No, nah, they didn't have lamb up there, so I had to settle with some strip steaks. Okay. Some crab legs, you know what I mean? Rory, yeah. what'd you get into this weekend, man? Not too much. You know, I was hanging. Uh... Celebrated my mom's birthday a weekend early, so oh. we were just you know hanging, doing the mom thing. Oh, happy, happy birthday! birthday. Oh, Drink, man. Drinking some cheap Chardonnay. Nice <laughs> headache out of, out of yeah. a box. Yeah, you know the typical white mom thing. Yeah, <laughs> a little oh, spritzer. Man. Yeah. Then I mm. then I had to white move. women love spritzers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, and at noon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They love <laughs> spritzers. <laughs> a spritzer, good spritzer. Oh yeah, yeah. That's how yeah. you ease into the the white wine drunk. Yeah. Start with and the now spritzer. Now the white claws and all that, but. But yeah, then I was tricked into moving all this shit out of her basement, and my Sunday stuff. Oh, sounds, like comes with something. sounds like a fucking win. Go, Irene. <laughs> Irene. <laughs> How many names? Did sounds they... like a win. Go, Irene. <laughs> it was Debbie last week. <laughs> now it's Irene. We never squashed our Leno beef, me and your mom. That's funny. When as she well. served me up, <laughs> she told me don't come on this block again. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. How was your weekend, Joe? Um, cool. Just chilled out. Cool, yeah. Chilling. Hit the jacuzzi again. Hey. The jacuzzi. <laughs> I, I don't even want to know the entendre. Yeah. Just... And we're not doing that. But yeah, hit the jacuzzi. <clears throat> Little bubble bath. Watch, watch the playoffs. I mean, it's cool. Eight. Yeah. I didn't get to see any playoff basketball. You didn't? Nah. They didn't have, there's not too much uh, technology out there at the lake. Well, I figured that would be the point of the lake. Yeah. To, to yeah. not There's no to like get away from yeah. that type of stuff. Yeah, yeah, you didn't miss much. I tricked the no. Uber Eats guy. And now I order too much for the bike. <laughs> That's a good strategy. What, what do you have to pull, pull something behind him? Uh, yeah, you gotta pull up in the whip. <laughs> yeah, hey, I'm putting. Let two, me see you put this hey, on the handlebars. Hey, hey, <laughs> I'm putting two hundred, two hundred dollars worth of waffles for today and <laughs> tomorrow. Now, now let's see you swerve around. Yeah. Let's see if the guy shows up with six baskets on his bike. <laughs> Hey, hey, he drove <laughs> drove them waffles right on yeah, over. Yeah, I bet you right did, here, yeah. bitch. <laughs> um, but other than that, no, everything is cool, man. Shout out to our Spotify listenership. Shout out to our YouTube viewership. Uh, shout out to you creative fans, man. You're back at it. You're back at it. Still shooting? Oh, my God, man. Push your teeth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Push your teeth. Teeth good. grizzly. Yeah. I like that one as well. Veneer Nelson. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Veneer Nelson is funny. You had NLE Champa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A tribe called Crest. <laughs> Rim. Yeah. I didn't even know Rim was here. Cre Crest Love. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Grill Scott, Grilly the Kid. Yeah, I like it. Teeth like Rocka. Yeah. Yo, a tribe called Crest. Oh, no, man. I like it. Let the down, greatest man. create, man. That's hilarious. West Side Gum. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Gypsy hustle. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Let the creators get their shit off. Man. Yeah, man. Go ahead, get your shit off. All, all this is funny, uh, man. Someone called you Grill Cosby. 
<laughs> OJ the Tooth Man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> a tribe called Crest is hilarious. hilarious. Yeah. So shout out to you guys, all creative creatives of the week. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> um, other than that, listen. Where do you where do you want to start, man? We bullshit for eighteen minutes. Let's uh, get right into it. I'm feeling good, ready to pod. Hopefully, y'all are as well. Let's do it. I wanted to ask you because you are are a parent of you know a, a young young kid. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm sure you go to different sources to find some. Knowledge or inspiration on on how you should be raising your child? Yeah, actually, actually, I don't. I'm not telling. I just you winging it. I just go off this. <laughs> I just stop. winging I just, it, raising the kid is fucking hilarious. I just, I just yeah, I just use the knowledge. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead. So over the weekend, I was thinking, I was like, oh, damn, Joe should really see this because there's a really reliable source. Any type of parenting uh, knowledge that I need. Uh, or want to pass on to someone. It's a sp- specific person I go to that has a lot of experience in this, um, and her name is Summer Walker. Mm. No, it's Galactahor. <laughs> Galactahor was giving us parental tips mm-hmm. over the weekend mm-hmm. on how we should raise our children and how we should feed them with the money that we have in our pockets. Right. Mm. Mm. Did you agree with the uh, meal pl- meal plan? Well, as someone that doesn't have kids, I think it's best that. I also tell people how they should parent. Right. <laughs> well, you have a dog, so... Yeah, it's the, the same similar thing. Similar diet. So, yeah, yeah, similar. Yeah. It's the exact same thing. Uh, Scream Man, can you go back? Anytime. It's cool. Okay. So on her IG story, she said, Y'all weird for even giving babies that processed government shit. True. I agree. Throw some real fruits and veggies in a blender and give it to them. I think that's good advice. It's a good start, I guess. Yeah, it's a good start. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not mad at that advice. No? <laughs> Telling people to just throw fruits and veggies in a blender and give it to their babies is not good advice when you have no background in that world. No, but I think that, I mean, in regards to what she was saying, and as opposed to processed food, I think that's good advice. I don't see anything wrong so with that. So you would take your parental advice from some more? I don't know if I would take parental advice, but I'm not mad at somebody suggesting... if. A smoothie over. If in fact Summer Walker put together a, because you're on a you're on a meal plan now, mm-hmm. would you allow Summer Walker to put your child's meal plan together? Uh, no, probably not. <laughs> but I'm not mad at suggesting a smoothie. Smoothies are great. I, I, I love a smoothie. Yeah, I, I I suggest smoothies for everyone. For just for babies that can't. Yeah, it's great for babies too. Well, what, what are you talking about right now? You don't like smoothies? <laughs> gonna You're going to take it. Stop this. We're going to stop six this right this second. Smoothie King? We're no. just going to start stopping the bullshit in its tracks. What? Yes, Maul. Everyone loves smoothies. <laughs> yeah, that's all, that's that all she said. That is not what we're discussing right now, Maul. It said processed food don't do that. smoothies. Don't do that. Hey, real quick. Hold up. Everybody stop. Uh, we have a... Uh, let me address the, the, the generation generational slang problem that... I've been seeing some of y'all hit us about. We are not attempting to say cap when we say cape. A lot of what? a lot of y'all hit me and say, yo, y'all are saying the word wrong. It's not pronounced cape. It's cap, which tells me there's a lot of you youngins out there that have no idea what we're talking about when we say cape. Mm-hmm. And that's important to highlight right now while Maul is grabbing an assortment of colorful capes. <laughs> How? Okay. And, ca- and capping. Uh, yeah, that's too. And Cap- capping. He's capping and See, that's where, the, that's where you can get confused, because you can how, cape and cap. How am I caping on capping? Right? A lot of caping is capping. Caping, mm. younger audience, is what we refer to when someone is attempting to save someone like a superhero. Yes, they're putting mm. And that's where the cape comes from. We're donning a cape. I feel really old having to explain cape. Like, I don't, is that that long ago? No. 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 It's not. But cap is new, so I get the confusion. Which Maul, I don't even what, know the history of cap. But. You're caping right now for how, this woman. How am I caping? I agree that you shouldn't give kids processed food. Do you? That's caping. I agree, but two sentences can be false here. Like, yeah, we shouldn't give processed foods, but that does not mean throw fruits and veggies in a blender and give it to your baby. <laughs> Everybody stop. Number one, see, and this is why people that, who don't have kids really just should shut the fuck up. Number one, consult your pediatrician (laughs) as to what your baby's dietary needs may be. 
mm-hmm. because some babies need, need food. that shit no, that they, they, no, they don't in processed food. No, they don't. Now, maybe Maul is right and they don't. But if you attempt to feed your kid a pear and three peas, <laughs> you're going to yeah. have a long day. <laughs> well, if you follow Summer Walker's plan, you can kill your kid. <laughs> your, that is a fact. Your kid can die. There's cases where people are being charged for the dietary, uh, the diet, the diet that they had their kid on, and it didn't pan out. And what did she say? You well, can feed the child daily one. Meal one, no, go, meal go two, back. go back. Meal one, meal two, meal three. Well, no, start is, the, start the top of the conversation. I don't Let's want not to get to the vegan meal plan. <laughs> do yet. I have to? Yes, you do. <laughs> I'm not reading that because I'm not even dignifying when people without kids start talking about kids. Okay, well, but she, let me. A pair is forty three cents, though. Anybody out there listening? Text me after you attempt to feed a kid three times a day and let me know what happens. <laughs> Three times a day? No, kids eat a lot. What is she talking about? <laughs> kids eat a lot. I think. No, hey, give your kid a, a pear and a pea, <laughs> and and let's see if you're gonna go to jail. Yeah. By the way, I love she put daily Three one point six seven <laughs> meal one pear. You four, going to jail? Cent. Hey, Summer Walker, you're going to jail. Meal two apple seventy four cents. Sing to me about London, not food. <laughs> meal three. Peas, 50 cent. That's $11.69 weekly. And they drink water, so it's cheaper. <laughs> huh? Ma, you even do that please math. take your cape nah, off. You, you ain't even do the math about the water making it cheaper. You so, ain't do that math. Because that's just what you feed babies. Yeah. Peas, Some, three summer, peas. Summer, it's just water all day. Summer said. You He's not training for the marathon. You shouldn't it's give, a baby. You shouldn't give your baby processed food. And the comment said, shut up, bitch, you processed. <laughs> See, this is why you can't go to the I internet. Didn't, the the comments comments say, I, just, I, I would never say that. this is why you can't go to you the know internet I love with, summer with advice now. because people don't take advice the way they should. Uh, and also, you shouldn't go to the internet with uh, medical advice when you have no experience whatsoever. If y'all gave well, Summer Walker a morning show right now, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, me too. 100%. Her, Drea... There's a crew that I'm glued. <laughs> you want hey, to the advice? Hey, hey, Kiki Palmer, you out there trying to get the squad together? Call Summer. Yeah, I'd watch. <laughs> well, you drove to Toronto, so and, <laughs> and, 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 and made her <laughs> and made her miss her meet and greet. Word. <laughs> look how you try to make me sound crazy. Oh man, man, damn! You couldn't even meet the fans fucking with you, and you made me pause my song, man. Anyway, song. Summer, you can't do that. Yeah, no. Yeah. Three P's is not enough for anyone, <laughs> let alone a and child. There, See why we need music to come out? <laughs> While I understand uh, staying away from processed foods in general, there is a reason why uh, infant mortality has gone down a lot in the past hundred years. Summer because Walker of meal plan? Doctors oh. figuring out the right things to feed kids. Mm. So, like. So, thumbs up for processed food. Well, not, no, not everyone necessarily, can but doctors, thumbs up. So, go to summer. Well. Thumbs up for listening to medical professionals. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That I agree with. Yeah. Never to walk in anyone's shadow. Y'all never sing with me. Forget (laughs) it, man. Forget it. Where did you even pull that out? Forget it. Forget it. Yeah. Forget it, man. That record in the tuck. No, I believe the children are the future. The children, they, are. they have to live to be the future. <laughs> if, if they go by the meal going. plan. I see, I see yeah, it the time. come I on, it. man. There will be no future. <laughs> nah, three pieces <laughs> Give you a baby. Nah, <laughs> three pieces. Hey, and let me, more, you're pushing it. And Everyone let me tell knows you babies something. just drink water, so you'll be fine. Not to be catty, but this is really immature if she's sending shots at somebody, mom. <laughs> <laughs> you know women are get Women are yeah, getting on some. Way. <laughs> you think it's all sub? I don't know. I'm not that deep in the girly shit to know. Mm. But if so, I know women could do this. Uh, look well. at your baby d- diet, bum ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's the shit they go to. Look how you feed your kid. Oh my god. Uh, all right. What else is? What else my, is important? I my think baby's I'm, on keto. <laughs> I'm also sure that they probably make like organic baby foods and such. They do. I'm sure. Absolutely. They do. So there's that. No, we get it. Three P's is like 
That's a stretch. It's a little light. Yeah. Well, that, that was peas and some water. Uh, yeah, no, it was on. meal three. She just said peas, guys. That was meal uh, three. Oh, the two. That's, were th- that's meal three. Gotcha. Meal the first two, two is, handled is, most no, of the. Meal two is just one apple. <laughs> meal one is just one pear. <laughs> Your baby gonna be dead as hell <laughs> in that <laughs> fucking crib. And meal three is <laughs> you peas. In the, you in the fucking home studio singing your. Oh, he laughed. I bet he did. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking baby want to leave too. <laughs> Nigga hungry as hell. <laughs> yeah, that's a sick diet plan. <laughs> diet would kill Baisley. <laughs> <laughs> Holy right. shit. I don't know what else is important, but I'm here to kick it. You this is not important. All right, what is on my list? Ha ha! Listen, I don't normally do this. See, y'all can't let me get to my list because then nothing this comes out. No, that's good. I don't normally do this because the Laker game already happened because it's happening by the time this is released. Mm-hmm. But, boy, I can't wait for that game tonight. All you fucking Carusoers, I hate y'all. Why? I hate the Caru. I've been watching the Carusoers meme away all the little dunks, mm-hmm. <laughs> all the jumps and the hustle plays. Mm-hmm. Y'all been memeing me out for about 12, maybe 18 months now. Mm-hmm. And I've been sitting home saying, I hate this little nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but there's nothing I can do. Because he's been dunking and hustling and LeBron likes him. Mm-hmm. He is about to have a long <laughs> night tonight. And I want to see all you memers. <laughs> don't, don't go missing. Hey, when that nigga's touching the floor, yeah. I want to see the meme. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't think he'll play much. Oh, much. my God. Ja Morant developed a, a new respect for CJ McCullough. <laughs> uh, man. Yeah. Anybody see it? Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> you was at the lake. I was at the lake, yeah. So was Ja. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and don't do that, cause that's my man. No, nah, I fuck with Ja. He's gonna be he's but, gonna be a really good player. And they went at it. But yeah, he's just young. He's just young. CJ went off. All right, that's all I have for the Carusoers. We'll see this week. I want to see y'all. Okay. What if he go off? <laughs> Fifty seven. <laughs> Fifty seven and twelve. <laughs> twelve, no. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Uh, <laughs> Nobody's with me on my Kawhi hates Paul George thing still? No? No, I, I don't worry about it. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. There's a bit of tension. No, no, no let's, 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 keep <laughs> let's, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. We don't have to stay on nothing no more. What else we got, Rory? Who's this beautiful, slim chocolate honey that's. Chocolate <laughs> honey. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Rory Wolf. <laughs> Who is that? Don't just uh... click away. <laughs> <laughs> you scrolled? They can try to click to whatever movie she was in. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm a fan of her acting. <laughs> Which is iTunes? No, no, she does. She does this record right here. She uh, actually has a song. <laughs> yeah, see, I know. <laughs> Man, Rory was on that bitch tiny desk. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't see what the problem. I'm is. sick of these two. <laughs> if y'all better, yo, please somebody find something to talk about. No, I, know, I, wanted, to the hate. I wanted to talk about Ryan Destiny. Oh, go ahead. She's fine. <laughs> I don't know who that is. You yeah, do. but any chick named Ryan and Destiny <laughs> should be pretty. Is getting you in trouble at home. Yeah, that's a fact. Sure. Don't even bring her up. Oh, is this one of the girls oh. that was um? Was she one of the girls on a vacation with uh? That yeah that well, that, that photo. Okay, yeah, I know she looked familiar. That was the uh. The, the Wait, photo y'all know summer. y'all know the girls that be on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> You do too. You, you mean, know them. You mean my entire timeline? Yeah. <laughs> you know them too. What no, you I don't. You know the girls. That no, I do not. Yo, if I cannot look at a picture and say, "Wait a minute, I don't remember her." That was her in Tuluma. No, no I was about to say, if one more person <laughs> goes to this, Tulum this we week, I'm gonna lose my mind. Huh? Oh, yeah, no, is, Tulum, is everyone's Tulum's, timeline in Tulum right yeah, now? Yeah, Tulum is Miami Beach now. Everybody is in Miami and Tulum. They will not show us the guy. <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, it's not just... a girl's trip because, I mean, it's just you in the bushes. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it's just her bro. Yeah. Just the ah, bros. The bros. Man. The bros. Always the bros. Let me see. That's, Let me and, get back And if here. they really get creative, that's the broski. Mm. <laughs> Chick ever tried to hit you with the, that's the broski? Yeah, I know. Don't ever say broski in front of me. <laughs> broski, I know. All right, where we at, guys? Um... Want to do the the, the Sci Sci Hires writing Travis Scott's biggest hits topic? Sure. Is that news? 
I yes, was unaware. Yes, music snob. No, I didn't think that was a music <laughs> yes, snob thing. I some people out there have no idea what you're talking about. Travis Scott, the biggest, one of the biggest artists in the world. Mm. A yeah. ghost writer? Never. He didn't write sicko mode? Yeah, you have to explain that to people, Roy. Don't just act like everyone knows. Yeah, I'm yeah, not. Saha, didn't Saha write... Um, I thought Saha bean? came out and told us all. He wrote what? He wrote uh, Coffee Bean on the album, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was His name thing. is on mad credits on the album. So, I mean, it's not a secret or a surprise. I don't know why when the net puts something in like a, a caption or a meme, then we have to discuss it like it's new news. Yeah, this was no. Why was is no this new already. news? Because we didn't know he... We didn't hear the reference track before? Because people don't read credits because they're not really available on anywhere. And casual fans just don't care. That too. Which is fine. That too. Who gives a fuck? It's this was like good. a big deal that day, though. And then people started trying to defend their love for Travis as if you needed to. I mean, I don't even really view Travis as a rapper. I see him more as like a like a producer. Uh, so this is, love to get in this is right in line with he's just producing. So, yeah, I mean, they love to it doesn't really change my view of him. And I'm like, fam, you can like whoever you want to like without qualification. Right. True. I don't know why that was a big thing. And just like Explain music, it to me. music Somebody. that sounds good. Sai's si got a lot of publishing out there, and the it's world. a lot of it's a lot of a lot of dope rappers that people like. They have people helping them in in the studio, absolutely writing shit. Well, no, I just think it speaks to everybody si has that somebody he's on helping. These but I mean, an, an actual reference record. track, I guess, is where it gets fuzzy for people yeah. because the worlds clash. And in my <laughs> opinion, these worlds should never clash. I've had this topic. Uh, I've discussed this in depth here before. The world of casual, casual single fan versus really am a fan of this person organically and they don't really have mainstream success but I'm a fan of them. Mm -hmm. So this is where those worlds collide. And the mainstream people are saying, wait a minute, Sahai, who the fuck is Sahai? Like, and if he can do that for him, why can't he do it for himself? That's what they That's always go to. Weird, uh, That's such a weird debate. Is there any cre credence to that? I understand I, why people say it. it like, no. if you write some of the biggest records of the year and then you're an artist yourself and your album, you don't really have a lot of Records that chart I can see how The casual fan Would be like Well what's the difference uh, It's a Huge Difference No I know that like, The casual fan Doesn't know that Alright so we'll go look, We can go with the Quentin Drake thing Because that was the biggest one When they, when all those references leaked Like mm -hmm. Grant I'm not going to say I thought the energy beat Was fire But let's start With Bigger artists Have access to Better producers mm -hmm. And more resources And doper shit mm -hmm. Yeah Also those artists are big because they know how to deliver records. Like, if you heard that Quentin reference, yeah. it Sounds didn't terrible. sound that good. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay. And then you heard Drake's version. It's like, okay, that's someone that knows how to deliver a verse. Right. Like, he has presence on this record. His voice is familiar. Mm -hmm. I'm grabbed in right away when he starts rapping. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, those types of artists look for people that are good at writing because they know they can deliver it better than most people. Absolutely. And then there's also people like, like Saha. If Saha did the, the sicko mode verse... Travis is delivering that type of verse on that type of beat better than Sahai High would. Sahai High probably also just doesn't want like to make of, that record. I don't like any of that True. example that Rory just used. I Why? hate that. Because that could be kind of common where you have an unknown, super talented person that is now contributing to the megastar's creative process. Mm -hmm. And maybe we won't credit that person. We're not paying that person. We'll keep them to the talk. Which, by the way, is a different part of the brain when writing. What? I think Sai High and Quentin Miller would approach a record having the mind state that this is for this artist rather than themselves and mm -hmm. their music. Oh, yeah. I'm only saying I don't like it because of the no name helping the megastar versus this is someone who we know, someone who has a career. I think that's where the uh, blurred line comes in that we were just talking about with Maul, where people say, how can this person do that for this person and not themselves? Because you're familiar with this person, mm -hmm. and this person's been around for ages, but they haven't seen that type of su success that they're able to give somebody else. My take on it is, like we were just talking about, the rapping is the smallest part of the hit. Yeah. It's the likability. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the image. Mm -hmm. It's the the, the, the... the familiar voice, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the voice. A part of a team brand. with a marketing plan, You know, whether it's a label or a, a crew or whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. a big advantage over someone that may be just freelance and you know, putting out records solo, but still writing for other people. The shocker is that Sahai can probably give Travis nine more sicko modes in a matter of hours. Oh, yeah. for sure. Because a gifted pen like that with someone out. who has that likability already... 
Quentin could have gave Drake a few more of those yeah. energies. Like normally when you see these pairings, they're they're a pair for a reason. Yeah. yeah. And and to Travis and Drake's credit can find those pens and find what works the best out of that. Like Saha we know could rap for four hours straight. Producers, I'm not saying specifically I know that this is what happened in that studio, but producers like Travis Scott and artists like Drake can find those little parts and those little things that they know will work for actual hit records with people that have really good pens. Yeah. And not only that, a lot of times it's uh it's not what you say, it's how you say it. And a lot of, Most uh, of the time. you know, a, an artist like Travis, a lot of his shit is his style and how they mix his vocals, uh, his ad libs, yeah. how he says certain shit. So I think that a lot of times, you know, these artists, like an artist like Drake, he would pull from somebody like Quentin who is up on the new slang or up on new terms and how to say shit cool. But then when you give it to Drake, he just says it better. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, it's, 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 I don't really like get upset when I hear rappers have people helping them or writing with them anymore. Right. Because I understand like now it's artists are forced to produce at such a high level, high volume, like an artist like Drake. I would expect him to have some people in the studio yeah. helping him produce a song. Yeah, and it would depend on the artist. Like, if you heard that Jadakiss had a ghostwriter, it would be fucking painful to right. stomach. But right. Travis Scott is like a he's a pop star. Round Back of applause, that, I mean, not yeah. to cut you off. Hold up, round of applause for Jadakiss. Uh, there was something I said. Round of applause, God damn it. Uh, there's something going around. He got the voiceover in a uh, cartoon. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, that's fire. Yeah. What cartoon? Uh, I'm not sure what it was. I'm not sure what it was. Oh, well, I'm watching either way. Find it and let's talk about it. But uh, he killed it. Sounded just like him, but he did a great job. And I'm always with rappers branching out Captain and just doing some new shit. Yeah, that's great. From Fearless. Congratulations to Kiss, man. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, really, it's really dope. Uh, well, while all the pretty women are using the bathroom and going to the bar, uh, I did watch the first episode of the Rough Riders Chronicles that, that, and the that Masterpiece. third base talk was a, a little longer than just a bathroom trip and a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, did you guys watch the BT? I haven't Rough watched. Chronicles I, I, I finished the No Limit, but I haven't watched the Rough Riders yet. How was that? It was so fucking. The, so it was a limit. No, actually, that was a, a horrible me joke. <laughs> I, sh- I should have made that bad <laughs> he joke. Said, he said I finished No Limit. <laughs> All right, forget it. <laughs> no, nah, Master P did everything. He did. No, nah, he's the guy. Everything. I they were selling. <laughs> he was putting out twenty eight albums a year, and all of them were going platinum. With 85 or 80 percent splits. Proves my bust a point earlier. No, it doesn't. All right, if y'all gonna do that, then keep the fine girls out of the club. Let's do it. We here now. <laughs> Fellas is in the building. Well, the no what are you talking about, actually, Rory? What are you saying to Parks? Nothing at all. <laughs> the no limit thing actually doesn't come full circle a little bit because didn't Kim K say he was about to? She was about to try to get C murder free. Yes. If if Kim Kardashian free C murder, I apologize for any Kardashian joke I ever made. Okay. I'll apologize. She got to get Mac out, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, y'all kill. I, oh, Steve. I really love Rory, but Rory just says things that trigger me to, like, the people that I see say stupid stuff. <laughs> like, cause what does that mean? See, murder has been in for fucking 20, 20 years. It's COVID. If he comes out, that's going to do, that's going to change your whole perception of Kim K doing some shit. Hey, Joe, it's, it's called a joke. Hyperbole. A joke in a podcast. I'm seeing people say it seriously. <laughs> I'm not yeah. saying seriously. I said it. He was serious. <laughs> He's well, a huge No Limit fan. Huh? He's a huge No Limit fan. ISIS. No. And also, I don't have really a bad perspective of Kim Kardashian. But you should watch the. Uh, you should watch the No As Limit. As is. Yeah. I'm so, definitely. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking you got about. Got to. That shit is insane. Watching. What he was doing. Uh, pull up the Kim K. Uh, Kim K. Quote. Let's uh, let's read it. But this would be great. This yeah, would be absolutely. awesome. Absolutely. No, I don't want I don't want, don't want to sound like I'm taking away from that. This would be mm-hmm. awesome. No, but touch, I get what you're saying. They touched upon that and uh, Mac, who was also signed to No Limit, and both of those cases sounded like crazy, at least from the documentary's perspective, which mm-hmm. granted was produced by No Limit, I think. But still, yeah. uh, if the evidence they presented is accurate, neither of these gentlemen should be in jail. Right. Yeah, that being produced by No Limit, don't, that don't, that no, does, yeah, that does nothing for me. The Ma- Master P told y'all stop eating the other people's oodles and noodles. He, he made his he made his own oodles and noodles. He, ain't let he y'all, did everything. He's not letting you shoot everything. his doc. Literally, no. <laughs> he played in the NBA, made oodles and noodles, oodles and noodles, and sold a trillion records. Oh made my. movies. He had Ooh. a porn a porn uh, hotline. He did everything. <laughs> Legend. Legend. He had a porn hotline. Yeah. 
<laughs> did you did you call it? I did not, but they oh. mentioned it in the in the series. <laughs> I did not. Is a, is, is a number still active? You could try. All right, try my own free time. Rory's kinky boots been coming out recently, man. <laughs> His kinky he want to know if the number's out? still active. <laughs> I mean, let's, let's hear a piece. No, Rory, about. I don't think that number or Mike Jones's phone number is still active. Uh, maybe I'm trying to hear a chick speak Creole freaky to me over. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Maybe that's what I want on a hotline. I told y'all years ago, plan to fight in your house. Guys trip to Brazil, we out. And y'all still ain't done it. Let's go. Y'all ain't trying to hit Nah, they're not doing that. They, not, they gotta come back. Look, though. they don't. They, uh, <laughs> Joe, they gotta come back. Joe, no, they, they don't. Do it. No, don't. don't have to. You, know you really don't. You know how many niggas probably fake got that off? They don't have to go back home. The guys trip to Brazil, it still can happen. Mm. Well, I don't know if they'll let us in. As oh. Americans. i will do oh. Colombia before I do Brazil. He ain't even research it. Any other time, he pull out his little Google. Oh, yeah, right. title says John McElroy produced this. John oh, McElroy. <laughs> now he just. Oh, it looks like we won't be able to get into Brazil. He did it. Uh, you didn't, you didn't pull up title. You didn't You've pull seen up the map. Man, yeah, there's yeah. like two countries that'll let us in there. Parks, yeah. I don't know what's um, on a map. <laughs> Actually, you've proven that in the show several times. Who cares? First of all, you believe that? What? What's on a map? Uh, you believe the white people just saying, "All right, this is here." Uh, I think it's been proven that. Oh the fuck maps out! Are correct. Yeah. You can kind of see like the pictures. Uh, yeah. Flat, oh. flat Earth theory. Oh. Now please. the chicks is really gonna leave. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, like, look, the ground is flat. Yeah. There you go. That's all you need to know. <laughs> just nine months ago, they said, "All right, Puerto Rico's with us." Mm-hmm. I mean, they they freestyling this shit. <laughs> what you mean? No, Puerto Rico's always been with us. <laughs> well, nah, who, no, not always. But. See, see. <laughs> I mean, for at least what? Look, you don't know the I map either. Years or something. I, yeah, I, like I've been, been, been alive. Them niggas just waking Rico. up, changing their mind. All right, we got Hawaii. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> fucking freestyle. I don't believe a word they're saying. All right, come on. Where we at? <laughs> when are we uh, gonna freestyle out Hawaii? This <laughs> should been a state. <laughs> What's the two states they? I added? don't understand the Puerto Rican thing. Sometimes they're like, "Yo, they come on, give like it a to district. me." And then other times it's like, nah, they ain't with us. A district. <laughs> yo, yo, we fuck with them a little yo, bit. Like, all niggas, are, all, all, all we want to know is, yo, we need our passport yeah, to go. Yes, yeah, exactly. Or nah. That's all you no, need to know. No, you don't. Yo, all right, so in your defense, I went to Hawaii. Wait, hold on. Let brought, me... And I brought my passport to the airport, and my mom looked at me like, I have failed you as a mother. I was like, what? I thought she needs It's a state, Rory. Why would you need a passport? I can't believe you've been to the airport with your mom. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> Where the fuck? Yo, why is that funny? I'm right? trying to think if I've ever been to the airport with my mom. Come right. to think of it, I don't think I've ever been to the airport with my mom. All right, well, y'all, y- y'all broke easy to fly your mom somewhere. That's what y'all need to do. True. Uh, I've been, I've been, need, no, need to be some that's better funny. Oh, I know why Joe's laughing. Him and his mom had a little. Oh, mom! I told you, fifty pounds. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. And I do want to fly somewhere with my mom. Yeah. And dad and my kids. Anytime somebody I, I love that I should take a trip with says, yo, man, dying to take a trip is on my bucket list. I'm like, yeah, yeah. we got to do that. Yeah. And, <laughs> you don't never set nothing up, though. Nah, yeah. nah. But instead no, nah, I don't go to title. <laughs> <laughs> but instead you do it with some strange chick from Instagram. Yeah. 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 That's the vibe. Yeah. No, look, like men are yeah. so... Yeah. Look yeah. at yeah. us. That's yeah. the vibes. That's the What's wrong with Rory? <laughs> that's the vibe. Strange chick uh, from IG or no, mom. I was agreeing. <laughs> saying that's... Oh, you better than us now? <laughs> <laughs> I was speaking from experience. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about strange, strange chicks to Dubai, strange chicks to the hookah spot in Edgewater. <laughs> we ain't even got to go far. You don't need your passport. <laughs> <laughs> strange chicks to my, here's my address. <laughs> <laughs> strange chicks to my bedroom. <laughs> No, I sit anywhere. Sit anywhere. <laughs> Yo, niggas get so fly. Oh, make yourself hey, so comfortable. Hey, uh, make yourself. So hey, me casa, you casa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of that. You just met this hey, girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, she she yo, you, want some, you want something to drink? Yeah. yeah. What you want? What you got? I mean, anything. Niggas, you got Hawaiian punch. <laughs> I mean, anything. Water. <laughs> what you need? <laughs> you ever got the good lie off? Which said, oh, should I take my shoes off? Oh, yeah, these are pine floors. <laughs> Fucking live on Bergen Avenue in Jersey City. Pine floors. <laughs> no, I said, yeah, you got to take them off. I just pine sold the floor. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Rory meant, but you know. No parks. I meant pine floors. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> you really know your wood? No, I don't. Well, <laughs> he's only been trying to tell us the last four pods. <laughs> he's a wood master. Hey, 2022. <laughs> it's coming. Oh, man. Then you're going to step on his release? Yeah. Step on... <laughs> <laughs> Nigga trying to beat me to gayness. Yeah. What? Can't let my mans get that off first. Uh, oh, man. Nigga watched three P Valley episodes and look. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Never Later on, I'm going to ask y'all about y'all true thoughts during P Valley. It gets a little. It gets a little crazy. Like no, I, no, I, no. I, I didn't see, see that's it. why you can't, can't ask me to crazy. watch a show because yeah. I'm gonna watch it and let's discuss it. Yeah, it, 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 it Maul, you're gets, watching it too, right? I, I love the show. I love Lil Murder. Uh, <laughs> come no, on, never mind. You beat hey, me to the come release. Come on, the way the chick. Come on, the way the chicks talk about uh, insecure and Issa. Let's get into what Lil Murder's doing. Hey, Listen, man. F- he, he fucking trying the dude to get his record played. That's some make, different type of payola. He trying to make not it. a dude, Rory. See, see, I hate when cisgendered men just start. That's not a dude. Yeah. And he doesn't identify that way. Yeah, straight white males. Uh, well, you you just said he. Transgender. You just said he doesn't identify as that. She. She. We don't know if that person identifies as she or he. That has not been clear in the show. That that, that person, person ain't tiny. And Lil Murder went to work. Oh, relax. relax. <laughs> Busting that person's ass. Yep. <laughs> this is not funny. Is I'm, funny. I'm laughing at something happening outside. <laughs> oh, shit. Y'all see outside? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy out there. <laughs> Yo. Lil Murder went to work. In Wait, the back and office. Came. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert if you've never seen this P Valley oh, show. God. And P is for pussy. Yeah. Absolutely. That or intro is song it? is fire. That's no, a hit. when I first tried to watch this show a few weeks ago, I cut it on and I did what I love to do, go to sleep. And I went to sleep and I woke up and I didn't know some wild shit was happening. It was looking like Pose. I'm like, why the hell is Maul telling me to watch this stupid show? Yeah. I'm not going to watch this. Uh, but now that I know. Yeah, it was a good show. What do you think about Lil Murder tearing down <laughs> some <laughs> I don't know if we can say that Some word. Yeah. yeah, Rory. See? None of these words we can use, but we can't use any of these words. We have to find the right words. It's a good show, though. And <laughs> then got curved. No, we're going back, by the way. <laughs> Nigga told, told her his real name. She said, Lil Mer- it's Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You pulled out all the stops up. Yeah. My bad, All right, Trev. come on, come on, come on. See murder. By the way, it's Mark. Mark, <laughs> look at Rory. <laughs> All right, Kim Kardashian is going to try her best to free C Murder, which would be amazing. She tweets free Corey Miller with the hashtag. On January 18th, 2002, a tragedy occurred when a young man was killed. The next day, Corey Miller was arrested for the murder. <clears throat> Pardon me. The jury convicted Corey 10 to 2, and he was sentenced and sentenced him to life in prison. If this trial was today, the jury would have. The jury would have had to be unanimous for him to be convicted. Since his trial, witnesses have recanted. New evidence of his potential innocence has come to light. And there are claims of jurors being pressured into voting to convict. True justice for the young man requires that the person who actually killed him be held responsible. And that Corey Miller be returned home to his family and children. That's true. That is what Kim Kardashian says. Uh, she apparently has had a few talks with Monica leading up to this phone call with the three of them, C. Murder, Monica, and Kim K. Uh, I want to shout her out for her effort. Yeah. I hope they, they achieve this. I hope they get Mac out, too. His, his case sounded real sketchy, too. Someone got shot at one of his shows. He was on stage. Mm-hmm. He pulled out a gun, but it wasn't the gun that shot the guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, rest in peace to that gentleman, by the way. Yeah. But because he was violent in his raps, they sent him to jail, essentially, for murder. That's crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> That's crazy. Well, I commend Kim. I, I hope this does work out. Me too. <clears throat> yeah, hopefully. Monica mm-hmm. says, you've always been the most thorough and reliable human ever. So many believe in you and stand with you. You sacrificed it all for those you love. Let's see it come back to you. See murder free Corey Miller. How is Shannon Brown feeling today? It's <laughs> my question to you guys. Think he's feeling a little pressure? I'm asking y'all. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, w- I don't know why he tried to tie Shannon Brown into this, bro. Okay. Um, I don't. I don't think he cares about shit like this. I think he's moved on. Mm. I think he's moved on. Mm. And you know, this was before him, so true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Can't get mad about that type of shit. Nah. Monica didn't mm. move on. I don't have anything to say because I'm afraid of Monica and C. Me too. I'm definitely. Yeah. But I support both of them fully. Free C. Don't Murder. profess your love for the love of your life after we dated. <laughs> and say like, how, how reliable he the, was wh- through the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, let they me can't, just can't let me that? just make myself clear. Nah. What? After me, you have to have a new love of your life. Like yeah. you can't be a nigga that was in the bag already. <laughs> yeah. Talk about what I sacrificed for you. No thanks. I think I've I've talked about that here too. What uh some of those arguments are like when uh she says, "Oh, that's just a childhood friend." <laughs> yeah, the broski. I mean, childhood. Broski. You're 19. <laughs> <laughs> when, when was your childhood? <laughs> you when start, was your childhood? Start doing some math. All right, yeah. if you're 19, high school. Yeah, man, it sucks when you can't pry her away from the love of her life. That's all. That's that's my only takeaway. And well, when she can't even like really see him, he's been in jail and you couldn't yeah. do it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, what a connection! <laughs> I don't think I've ever felt love. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's wrong with you, man? I'm here to pod, man. Yeah, you are sick. I'm man. here to pod. Come on, let's have a good time. All right, new music, new music. Back to music. We're a music podcast. Hey. hey. Yo, Music would, talk for your head tops. I would definitely save Am I a Crooked Letter. Just want to put that out there. Oh, the dancer? Yeah. T Valley? She would get saved in Mississippi. Okay. You like her? She's grown on me over these past few episodes. Like, once I'm starting to get to know her, oh, you be and singing like see it with her, them. her inner beauty, getting to know her crooked name. Letter, like, crooked Letter, I, Crooked you know, Letter, I, Crooked Letter. I'd be into that shit. I'd be like, that is Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> like, I never I knew how to spell that. that. She was spelling that. <laughs> Yo, Rory even got to type in shows. Like, look yeah. at this. Look, the slim look. <laughs> you could just go for the thick girl. Like, you, you keeping it on brand. Like, nah, nah, nah. I was like the slim petites, even on camera. <laughs> <laughs> this is funnier than he'll let us know. <laughs> 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 nah, don't touch me. Uh, <laughs> hey, by episode five, I was looking like at Mercedes, like, all right. Yeah, nah, nah, Mercedes that's... look good. Yeah. <laughs> Even when she was beating her mother up. That's a good show. She beat up her mom. I know a few chicks that have been waiting to beat their moms up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, man. They said Melanin Monroe. That was pretty funny. It's a good show. It is. This is a good show, P-Valley. is a good show. Hey, I started watching. I saved the uh, last episode. I'm not caught up. I didn't see the six. I, I didn't see the six one either. Oh, yeah, I gotta catch up. All right, come on. Listen, Parks and Rory are trying their best. They were they are Let's talking go. about everything in the world. Hey, did you see how strong the new bounty paper yeah. towels are? <laughs> hey, hey man, when last time you've been to Home Goods? <laughs> <laughs> hey, when somebody nah, don't have nothing to, to say, they want to get right to hey, you see what Home Goods got now? <laughs> I you will know, say I was actually happy that Parks got us like the actual good toilet paper in the right. bathroom now. Mm-hmm. Not that little thin shit. Mm. Not the, not one the ply. Past three one ply. Years. <laughs> yeah, no, you need a two ply. For one sure. ply. It was struggling there for a little bit. <laughs> look at Scream Man. Firm biz back. He was hyped. He was hyped. Wait, he commented. Yeah, look right above Nori. Wait. <laughs> what a fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where? Who comments on a Nas oh, IG shit. photo? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that, uh, sort of yo let me just tell y'all, that is a thing with me. I know we're joking around. It is a thing with me when I see people I know comment where they should not be commenting. Oh, absolutely. That's Sc- why Scream man, what are you doing? Shame for everybody. What are you doing? <laughs> what did, don't, I don't even want to hear you, but what are you doing? You was hyped, you was hyped for the firm biz? Don't do that again. I'm a little hyped for the firm biz too, but not that hype. <laughs> not to leave a comment. Parks, Parks yeah. I'm not comment with the question mark and explanation point oh, yeah, at the no. same time. Firm excited. Is back. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what that is. <laughs> no, but let's get to the album. Let's get to the track list. <laughs> <laughs> 
Look, they turning pink together. <laughs> they, 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 they pink in the face. Hilarious, even. Yeah, you brought you started. Oh this man, right modern home. modern day Chappelle, Rory is. <laughs> Let's get to the track now. Here. Yeah, <laughs> King's Disease. Let's start there. <laughs> Let's get the blue bins. <laughs> hey, Rory loved talking Queen shit until yeah. it's like yeah. Nah, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Joe, start the hate. You start it. Yeah, you from Queens too. Facts. You gotta stop with that shit. I don't wanna hear this shit. You don't now, wanna... your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Make it uncomfortable, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Now, there, uh, you, a, put it, you put it eloquently. There's a put couple, it Buffalo ish. There's a couple on here yeah. that I'm definitely not rushing to. Oh my. Yo, not, not rushing you're to fired. It. <laughs> Get out. Get out your house. I'm not rushing to it. What you not rushing to? Uh, the Fabio record, the Don Tolliver. Oh, come on, record, dude. I got Come on, man. Record. I can only stop. Stop it. Stop Why? it. Come on, man. You know I'd be seeing five. Fabi. <laughs> oh, I live next door. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> you don't want to hear five? It, it Nas? It might be dope, though. It might be. I will yeah, never. ASAP Ferg? No? Listen, do you want the safe answer from me? Yeah. I think it's really dope that the legends are reaching down to the, the new kings okay. and collaborating with them, putting them up on that pedestal. Right. Got you. Yeah, instead, That's the of, bonus instead track, of telling too, the next generation, like, nah, we need to work together. That's the bonus, too. So, like, when the album's over, you get a bonus. By the way, putting bonus track <laughs> out before the album comes out is really weird to me. It's they not don't a, do that no more? The bonus was when you found out, like, when you got the album. Oh, shut up, <laughs> you guys. The bonus track is called Spicy. Like, stop deflecting. Talk about the shit that's here. <laughs> it's right there in front of you. I like it. Spicy. I'm here for it. I want to hear the uh, the Blue Benz record though, and uh, why? I want to hear what him and uh, Lil Durk did. I'm excited about the Firm record. Well, obviously that we don't got that. That's uh, a all right. Let's not have one deflect. That's our error. In the kitchen, about five minutes ago, the Lil Durk record was up for debate. Hmm. I like this. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think I've made myself perfectly clear that I didn't say anything about Dirk. Okay. Of course Good. not. I just so I don't know the, what you're talking about. Coming off I said Drake I want to hear that shit. Yeah, he, he did a good job on the Drake record. I'm not talking about Drake, nobody. Uh, Dirk can rap. <laughs> make your friend. Dirk can rap very well. <laughs> make your friend <laughs> slang for weed. What? <laughs> Wait, what? The, what are you talking about? Rory, please stop. <laughs> yeah, I hate Rory. I hate Rory. No, I, do I say that every podcast? Every podcast. Um, yeah. No need to talk about what we're talking about. Rory knows what I'm talking about, and I'm not talking about it. So, Yeah. Uh, well, no, I do really want to hear Dirk and Nas together. Seriously. I, I'm interested to hear I, I, Dirk, I would have never put him on that Drake record and thought it would have been dope. Uh, but, dope but since really dope since y'all don't want to talk about shit, uh, I want to hear the Dirk thing. I don't know if I want to hear the Don Tolliver Big Sean song that I know was probably already done, and then Nas hopped on it, and it became a Nas song. Just my prediction. Not running to that record. It's a reasonable prediction. I don't like Nas going hear, out like this, man. Uh, what you talk? I want to hear Nas and Anderson Pack. Me too. I yeah, love that the firm is back together, even though they reversed it, and now Nature isn't in the firm, and Cormega is back in the firm. They could have had them all on there. Probably. They could have had Nature in that man. I see why you don't invite us to the cool kickbacks. <laughs> what you talking about? Even went from third base to the, <laughs> the, the, the nature and Quamega reversal of roles. Well, that's a good point. I'm chasing the fine girls out there. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> now I'm telling you, it's about the to fine girls, about the fine to turn girls up. Not. Don Tolliver, turn up. <laughs> we just was talking about Don Tolliver. All the, the new pretty chicks, like, like hey, Charlie guy. Wilson is up there though. Y'all gonna have to give Charlie some respect though. I'm excited to hear that one. Charlie ain't had a whack hook. He ain't had a whack hook ever, I don't think. Maul, there's nobody in the country that you need to convince to respect Charlie Wilson. Oh, no, I'm just saying. I want to hear that one. Same. But it, awesome. It, it, this this Friday in your phones. It is an interesting mix of um, features, though. I mean, you got a young producer, so it makes sense that he's got young yeah. artists with him. I see what he's trying to... I get it. I, I, it's, I, just, it's just tricky, though. Yeah. Like, this can be a huge fail. I will listen to it with an open mind. I just am scared. I trust Hit Boy, man. I, I think it's going to be all right. I think the music is going to be great. It I just does. don't know if it's like Joe said, the marriage of the ultra black. We wasn't really feeling that. The music was great. Obviously, Nas, one of the greatest rappers, but it just, it doesn't. 
connect. And that's what I'm scared of. A lot of these features are like, uh, okay, all right, but didn't we'll hear find you guys say that about the receiver. Very rarely can a feature list turn me away from a project, and that's what this is doing. Like if I'd have never seen these features, then I would be fine. And this take is not specific to Nas, <clears throat> as far as him collaborating with the younger generation. There are some people that that may work for. I personally hated it when Jay-Z was doing it. Mm. Like, I hate when the greats seem like they're doing it. I don't know that they're doing it. But, yeah, there was a small second where I'm like, I don't want to hear Hove with a future flow. Okay. I don't want to hear Nas with Don Tolliver. I don't. There's just better. I don't want to hear Nas with Anderson Pack, Lil Dirk. You wouldn't want to hear Nas and Anderson Pack. I could see that. Because I could see that's, that. That's yeah. a Anderson Pack doesn't really, seem weird at all. Dude. Yeah. It, do, like it doesn't seem weird, but there's for me huge potential for it to miss. I can True. see that the younger younger people like Don Tolliver, but even there's young people that make well, music in the uh, uh, realm of Nas <laughs> that mm-hmm. would maybe make more sense. Mm-hmm. I guess. And, and when it's you say the nice whole thing, down. I know what you're saying because there was a few times where Hope was getting with the younger people and it was like alright this just feels weird but and I know you hate Cuddy but like on Blueprint 3 when I saw Cuddy on there I was like Ugh, I don't know if I wanted to hear Hove and Cuddy and it, he went into Hove's world mm-hmm. he didn't go into Cuddy's world so there's a that can happen on this album like you could have a Don Tolliver hook that sounds like some nah shit doesn't necessarily mean well that. this will be the first album I'm listening to Thursday night Friday morning absolutely is there anything else coming out on <clears throat> Friday well, if we get a Nas album on Friday, that means we get something from the Carters on Saturday, right? <laughs> it's it's if, if history will repeat Thursday. <laughs> so Thursday. Thursday morning. Oh, yeah. shit, y'all. <laughs> Look what be the Been the working on some yeah. me, B, <laughs> yay, the yeah. dream, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> the leftovers. Sir, dream, dream Sir cast. Carter has an EP. Yeah. <laughs> Just crying over some beats. <clears throat> Yo, they better not put nothing out when yeah. Nas come out. Uh, did you guys see the Chris Rock? Uh, the chick said they've been left. They're not yeah, at the bar they're anymore. Gone. They're gone. Um, it's fine. Okay. It's, fellas nice. it's, it's, not fine. <laughs> it's not fine. It's not fine. It's not fine. It hurts. It hurts that they're leaving. Yeah. So is your dude that got a girl that don't care? <laughs> like it's fine. Yeah. Live the fight another day. Yeah. No, I want attention yeah. today from the women. <laughs> uh, Cr- Chris Rock was yelling at us in a trailer that's announcing uh, Busta Rhymes' new album. No date though, right? No, nah, I think it just said coming soon. But everyone said for the last two years this is the greatest album that's ever existed. I mean, he's been working on it for a while. I would assume it's been twelve years. I feel like since we got a Buster Rouse project. No, nah, that would be great. Well, what do you think about the new Chanel bags? <laughs> <laughs> Try to get the energy. Back. <laughs> you try to get the ladies back, bring them back from the kitchen. <laughs> new yeah. Chanel yeah. bags. <laughs> Me and Joe bringing down the new <laughs> Chanel. <laughs> Yo, I love that turquoise oh my, number they're doing. Oh my god, <laughs> their 2021 line. Oh, can't wait to cop that. <laughs> no, but seriously, if you had to pick a member of the firm, who would you think rapped the best? <laughs> if you had to pick, if you had to pick, if like I know what does it's- MC think about all this. <laughs> oh, you said Fashion Nova's looking for ambassadors. <laughs> Ladies, you're in luck. <laughs> oh, I know, I know a few. <laughs> I mean, do you think Hove took his style from Big Daddy Kane? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, do not want to hear that shit at all. Yeah. <laughs> all right, come on, man. What's up with the gossip? It's spilled tea, Joe. Right, well, let us know. <laughs> you all can't right. tell the story before, well, before we started. As it turns out, as it's <laughs> don't give them a re. <laughs> 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 just, just as I suspected, <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Trifling. <laughs> All right, lyric wop. I can't take credit for that. That is a Parks creation. He said when the Nas it. project drops this Friday, it's going to be a lot of lyrical wop. I'm sure. You don't like lyric wop? I love lyric wop. Yeah, I do too. That's my shit. Yeah. <laughs> you could wop with lyrics. Who doesn't like lyrics and wop? Nobody. Listen, man. Uh, September 23rd, that is a Wednesday. We're coming to everything soon, man. Patreon, OnlyFans, <laughs> Twitch, 
Apple, Apple. When the last time Apple got this type of content? Never. <laughs> was. Come on, man. Lyric Wop? <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time. They've been over there fucking solving murder mysteries. <laughs> <laughs> and not really Every solving Every crime anything. podcast. Y'all running out of them, too. <laughs> They've solved every case. <laughs> yeah. No, they haven't. They just they have it. stories. Now, like, now they just yeah. What's that shit I watched on Netflix? Some shit called Unsolved Mysteries. Yeah. Oh yeah, we all oh, we talked about it. Yeah, we did. Oh, did I talk about how much I hate watching mysteries that are unsolved? Yeah. No, nah, it could be fun when it's like there's something to give go me something. With. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was there a turn? A new suspect? Oh shit! The uncle dated the mom. Like, you didn't like, you me- like Unsolved Mysteries on Netflix? No. I like the uh, I like solve the solve of the episodes. Was solve cool. something. Stop. Get your production company and solve the, solve it's the called, murder. It's called unsolved. And six six episodes is not enough. Like there's enough. It ain't enough history. if you ain't solve it, bitch. Get out and get get out on the cold cage street. We started watching a <laughs> channel ID show called like. This is still unsolved. It's like they're generic unsolved mysteries. And it's terrible. <laughs> this is still unsolved. <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> it's like oh, she committed suicide, but. Did she? Every I'm go- time. And I'm then going- they never get into the no. facts. I remember leaving the theater when I saw Zodiac, like, legitimately upset. Because the, the movie's four hours long, and then it ends with, well, I mean, he might still be out there. I don't know <laughs> what to tell y'all. <laughs> they obsessed for four hours, ruined everyone's life that was researching the shit, and then right. went... Yeah, man, we, we really don't know. Or it might have just been suicide. I, you know, all the evidence <laughs> points to it being suicide, so... What'd your mom think of that movie? I did not see Zodiac with my mom. <laughs> I might fly her to a theater <laughs> to see so Zodiac. we can rewatch it together, though. In Hawaii. In Hawaii, yeah. Watch see, that's why I'm going back and watching some of my old favorite murder mystery type of thing. Yeah, the other day was like the 90th time I've watched the case of the chick killed the, made the suicidal dude kill herself through text. I've watched it again. Every time at? I watch it again, I bring it up here. Where was that at? I Showtime? No, I told you I'm bad with maps. Uh. Where did the white people say <laughs> Kansas was? And, and the TV guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that case. Um, when they did the uh, the murder of uh, Versace, mm-hmm. who was that? Uh, FX. When they did yeah. that, I thought that was pretty snazzy because they got into like the murderer's dating history and they kind of gave a lot of backstory. If you're not giving backstory and context to how some of these things are happening and yeah. you're just telling me this is unsolved and mm. you're panning to the aunt who was shocked at the verdict like (laughs) (laughs) i hate it i do so listen september 22nd we're coming to everything soon uh actually off of the nas topic real quick potting will essentially die soon i'm gonna be the first one to tell you it's we can't talk about anything we can't talk about the gang members because they'll kill you you can't talk about the people that are backed by gang members because they'll kill you. You can't talk about the people and that... And tell on those gang members. The, the people that are highly respected, because they'll kill you. You can't talk about the rats. Who can you talk about? Nothing to talk about. Yeah. We just got to be nice to everybody. Can't make a joke anymore. Nah. Can't yeah, make a joke. Everything's so sensitive. Everything. But I don't think podcasting will die. I think yeah. you gotta just make fun of no, everything being so sensitive. It's not gonna die. You just gotta find good shit to talk about. Yeah. yeah. Like Christian sensitive. talk. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to do, man? Christian talk. I don't really want to talk about Christian talk. You Let me see if I can find something else the fun. The Bible Savage? Oh my God. I mean, this is why he's a genius and an innovator. That's true. He's Steve Jobs, but with God. No, we can get to Jam Master Jay's uh, killers before we get to Christian talk. Unsolved mysteries. Look at that. Yeah. Solved finally. Two men charged in long unsolved killing of Run DMC's Jam Master J. Uh, let's see here. According to newly filed court documents, no, 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 that's not what we want. Where's the shit we want? Where's the good stuff? Second well, nothing's paragraph. good about this. Yeah, no. But you know what I'm saying. Rest Where, in peace where's the, the meat and potatoes? Yeah, rest in peace, Jam Master J. 18 long years. His 2002 murder. Uh, just find me the names. Oh, uh, there we go. Second paragraph. That he- uh, keeps going past one of the one of the suspects apparently was already in uh, custody, federal custody. Yeah. yeah, and they brought in another one of the suspects. And as some people had suspected, these were people that were allegedly close to him. Yeah, really unfortunate. Yeah, very much so. Glad that this wasn't just forgotten by the wayside. 
Mm-hmm. Carl yeah. Jordan Jr. and Ronald Washington. At a press conference, the acting U.S. attorney for the Eastern District of New York said Carl Jordan Jr. and Ronald Washington had been charged with murder and Mizell's death. Ducharm didn't go into the details about what led to the charges, but said today we begin to answer that question. <clears throat> okay, great. So hopefully more will be revealed here. And yeah. this is a victory. Uh, and it yeah. appears... This is a win. From mm-hmm. what I heard, they're talking the people that were arrested. So yeah, this is more details will definitely be revealed of a story that a lot of us was common knowledge. So this is, this case is going to get deeper. Yeah. Just forewarning on this S- one. Sad story. Very much so. They always said that they felt like it was somebody close to them, though. Yeah. That was always the... Any documentary you saw on it or any uh, any reports on it was that people felt like it was somebody... Just the way it went down in the studio, the right. time, it was somebody that was close to them. So this is a... Uh, it's still, un- still unfortunate because we lost a legend, but... You know, for the family, hopefully they have some closure. Yeah, in this uh, tragedy. Did yeah. you guys know that? Unfortunate, unnecessary. I'm sorry. That was unnecessary too. To add to the unfortunateness, this mm-hmm. was yeah. a, a super unnecessary situation. Yeah. Did you guys know that uh, Patty Duke from Hot 97 uh, was involved in the murder of Yusef Hawkins? No. No, I, mean, I saw rumblings on the no, timeline about no it. No idea. I didn't know about the validity of it or whatever. Yeah, I didn't know that. Is that confirmed? Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> I, mean, I never knew that. Was this something that was like, <laughs> this is recent news or? Well, nobody would ever know this because who knows Patty Duke's real name? Oh, uh, Like okay. you would have to be aware of Got this. You. But I saw I saw <clears throat> Dallas say this on the timeline. Yeah. Dallas Penn, good guy, friend of the show. Mm. Shout out Dallas Penn. Shout out Dallas Penn and rest in peace, combat Jack, king, legend, icon, you know the vibes. Uh, but that threw me for a little loop. I mean, that's all I'll really say about it. Yeah, that's, it was shocking. I was about to say that's that just seems very weird and random. That's where I'm at with it. Yeah, like what? <laughs> I never thought I'd hear that sentence. Well, like more, Joe said, who, more will be revealed. You would have to really dig into that to find out his real name, and so yeah. And I didn't know that there was a Yusef Dawkins uh, doc coming. Is it? Yeah. Who's putting it out? I don't know. I only saw a trailer, and the trailer looked really good. And I'm going to leave this be for now, but I'm, this is one I want to come back to. Mm. Not like we always say we're going to come back to it. Mm-hmm. I want to really come back to this topic. Well, yeah, this well, topic. we definitely need What more you just said was a shit. loaded sentence. So, yeah, I'd like to. No, we just need more information on that. That's all. Get the details on that. Yeah. Got it. Um, let's stay right on radio. Let's hit the round of applause. Deserve it. Radio Hall of Fame inductees 2020 mm-hmm. include The Breakfast Club. Shout out to Charlemagne, Angela Yee, DJ Envy. Well deserved. Congrats. Well deserved. Def- well deserved. Def- definitely well deserved. Donnie Simpson, you already know the vibes. Does Grew anything else need Grew to be that. said? Video Soul. You I wasn't outside yet, Joe. Come on, cut it out. Come on, it's me. <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah, I was actually shocked that he wasn't in. Already, right? Yeah, yeah. that was shocking to me. Sway, yes, sir. That Round of applause. I, congrats. Round of applause. Y'all say that. Alex, you pulling up everybody but you. Right there. There you go. I just said that. You just say Angie. Angie, I, Angie was next. Who else we got? Angie, my good sister, queen. Legend, congratulations. Well deserved. Absolutely. I was hyped when I saw this, man. Yeah. I thought Sway was in there already, by the way. You would think, but all of them should be there. Angie, yeah. oh, Angie, Angie should have been Angie there. Angie without question. Angie was and, the voice of New York Club City for, for years. Hmm? Angie was the voice of New York City for years. So she absolutely I'm really it. happy. I'm really, really, really happy for all of them. Yeah. I am. Yeah. Honestly. They did they did they deserve that. And I'm sure it feels good. It looks good. What a stat. Yeah, yeah. that's dope. What and a the, stat. The, the Breakfast Club definitely saved radio in the internet era. Yeah. Like, thank you, I Ray like, J. I, <laughs> thank Seriously. you, Ray J, huh? True. Yeah. True. No, it was, it was Ray J and Fab. Saved radio. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, everyone here, well-deserved. Congrats. Thank you all for everything you've uh, contributed. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's a stat. That's... um. 
that solidifies you in history. Um, and they all deserve it. Absolutely. Well, I mean, fuck Glenn Beck, but I guess congrats. It's not your guy? <laughs> <laughs> you don't fuck with Glenn? Nah. Hey, he's not really my dude. Oh, okay. Before we get off of that... Uh, but I can see him being in the Radio Hall of, uh, Hall of Fame. He was successful. Yes. No, he's, say, he say would be will. in the Radio yeah, yeah. Hall of Fame for sure. Kind of a douche, though. Yeah. I meant to bring this up during that Nas Hit Boy conversation, but we were too busy making jokes. Mm-hmm. Um, Hit Boy tweeted, and I want to ask you guys. He said, is it clout chase? Uh, no, he said, I have made a million dollars from selling beats in 2020. Is it clout chasing if I say that? No. No. But it so. is. Like people, yes, it is. People uh, posting their stats. Is- That's clout chasing. No. Uh, yes, no. It it's. I mean, if, I've if never you, been if one you to- achieved the clout. <laughs> It's yeah. not really chasing the cloud at that point. You yeah. are chasing the cloud. No, he got, no, he it got the cloud. <laughs> he caught it. No, I disagree. No, How? no. All right, it's not cloud chasing. It's just something that you probably wouldn't do, and we because money, you don't really talk about that. It's not cloud chasing. It's just information that you probably wouldn't say to the public. If you say it, you're cloud chasing. What would he be I chasing? Think, uh, I, cloud. See, but he caught the cloud. But he has cloud. He, he right? has. He has it. No, he doesn't. All right, well, you're huh? mistaken if you think Hip Boy does not have the definition of what the kids have deemed a clout. You don't have clout if you have to say, I made a million dollars selling beats last year. Because why are you saying it? What is the purpose of you saying it? You've already been recognized by your peers as one of the best in the, best in the bunch. Mm-hmm. Clearly, you're not at a shortage for work. Mm-hmm. And fans acknowledge you. So you are saying this for what? All right, well, let me ask you this, Joe. It's clout chasing. You even It's to get clout from the people who do not know that I already have the clout, which is what the rest of the clout chasers do. Now, see, I, I, I'm different on that. I think clout chasing is when you do stupid shit and silly shit just for a moment of... Just have a moment. Yeah, but you need to widen your yeah, perception I'm, I'm of what a clout. Both no, of you. No, I think need, clout chasing then, is that. It's like it's, I know, and I'm saying I think you both should broaden your perception of what clout chasing is. That's one version of is. it. Mm. That's one way to go about it. Hey, I don't have any talent, so I'm just doing a bunch of stupid shit for clout. Cool, but people with talent can clout chase. No, absolutely. There's absolutely. people actually. And that's not what we, we can't. Keep, what was saying at all? No, that's not what I was saying. <laughs> People would. People would. He just said, "I think." He just said, "I think that cloud chasing is when people do stupid shit and for attention, for <laughs> for a quick moment." Or yeah, I'm saying bullshit. there's people that he never said people with talent couldn't do that. No, I said that. Mm. I said that. But I'm, my point is that there's people that are on top five Billboard that are doing things that are cloud chasing. No, absolutely, absolutely. So it don't matter. But I don't think what Hit Boy. Of yeah, cloud chasing. I don't think I what Hit Boy did was definition. cloud chasing. Like he's saying, yo, I made a million dollars in off beats in twenty twenty. My, my it, definition of cloud case, chasing every is, every rap or marketing or rollout could be cloud chasing, right? <laughs> which it, it may be. A, yeah, a lot which, of them, I, a lot of that, them yeah, are you, today. I haven't seen SZA clout chase. Oh, see, no, 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 Joe, you got to you got to change what you said because that's not. See, that's a whole different statement. Oh, right, let's change it. He says. If I told you I sold a million dollars worth of beats in 2020 without clout chasing once, would that be clout chasing? No. Yes. <laughs> no, hell no. No. I disagree. I don't think That's so. it. I guess maybe said, I don't know the full definition of clout chasing. Uh, I think Hit Boy here is suggesting that you can sell a million dollars worth of beats in 2020 without compromising and doing goofy shit. Right, exactly. That's what he's saying here. I agree. He's not saying anything. He's asking a question. I'm interpreting what he's saying. Yeah. He's saying, would that be cloud chasing? I could be wrong. It's my interpretation of what he's saying. And I still need the definition. But the answer to this question for me is yes, that would be to me the exact definition of cloud chasing. So he was cloud chasing by not cloud chasing (laughs) and talking about cloud chasing. So, Joe, if I come come to you and. Hypothetically, and I'm not the you're... clout connoisseur, by the way. <laughs> trust, trust me, I don't know. If I, don't if have I any. come to you and say, "Hey, I made a million dollars quietly. I didn't have to compromise my brand. I didn't have to go and do some corny shit on you're, the internet." You're chasing clout. I quite, I, I'm telling you that you can do it without that. 
how is that clout chasing? Wait, oh, I'm sorry. Like if you if I'm speaking you're looking with you, for clout from the non clout chaser clout category. Um, was that a double negative? It, there's a lot of double negatives <laughs> happening in <laughs> this whole confused. scenario. Rory, I don't think what you just said is clout chasing. Yeah, if I come if to you're you and saying, say, like, if you're yo, saying may, something I, with the intent to say that this can be done, then I don't think that's clout chasing. So I, I think that is your purpose of saying it. Here's the second part of my question. I don't think I that done. applies here. I wasn't done. So if I say that to you privately, I see you doing goofy shit, and I'm like, yo, I just made a million dollars quietly doing it this way. You mm-hmm. don't have to do that in 2020. There is still a way to make money without being an idiot in 2020. You'd say that would not be clout chasing. So because he said it publicly, does that now make it clout chasing? Because he said I makes it clout chasing. No, he didn't say that. He's asking question. But if he said I, for me, that changes it from you can do X, Y, Z. You can make a million dollars selling beats in 2020, period, the end. Nothing to say there, no clout chasing. That was a fact. That was a state, true statement. He did it. He can say that. Well, you do know that. I made a million dollars last year only selling beats. What the fuck are you telling me that for? What is the point? And I didn't know that we were getting to like a real live deep dive here, but here we are. Clout is clout. We know what clout is. It's I know what the props, real it's definition of it. Props, but. respect, attention from somewhere, whoever's from. The chase is the chase of it. My example of that would be you go out with your friends, y'all go to a club, y'all go to a kickback, y'all go to a bar, y'all have a great time. Such a great time that some people in the crew are going to want to continue the fun. Hey, y'all, I know another spot we can go to. Hey, tomorrow, if y'all are all free, we can all do that. Whoa, why are you chasing this fun? Okay. That don't change the fact that we just had a blast. Okay. I don't know if that's a fair comparison. Well, that's how my brain's And it. also, uh, what if I told you- I know you, what chasing looks like. But you do know a figure of speech as well, right? Like, what if I told you, if I told you is a figure of speech when you say a hypothetical I think situation. him even worded like that is Cloud Jason. No. I don't. I think he's saying you don't have to be a goof and yeah. do shit that would compromise your morals but you can to say make that. money in 2020. But he didn't say that. I think the it's po- a tweet, man. <laughs> I think the point of <laughs> It's a fucking tweet. Go on, move Jesus on. Jesus Christ, let's move on. I don't care. I don't care. I'm just asking. We disagree. We disagree. <laughs> <sighs> Anyways, with that said, well, thousands of people attended a pool party in Wuhan, China. <laughs> yeah, there's a a, a word with there's, COVID there's a, first night first emerged. Yeah, but it's 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 a wrap over there. They haven't had a case in a fucking minute, according to the reports and shit that I read. Mm. Well, that's because they don't test parks the way we test. They test better. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> and that's because they don't vote for a president. Maul really wants Trump to be our dictator. <laughs> just trying to tell you what it's all about. Tell us. It's all politics. <laughs> as, as usual. Here you go. It's all politics. All right, listen, God damn it. Come on, Christian talk. Ellen fired some niggas. Come on, give it to me. What y'all want? What y'all want to do? <laughs> Ellen uh, fired everyone that accused her of being an Drake asshole. Drake pays homage to Wayne. That's one that I'm purposely staying away from so we don't have a real honest conversation about it. Why? Yeah, in what way did he pay homage? Number one, I... I thought uh, everything he said in that caption was extremely factual, and I'm glad people realized Wayne wait, what did you, pushed what, all what did you his say? artists forward. What did you just say? Do you hear my insides? No, no, I don't hear your insides. Listen. I don't want to listen either. <laughs> what did I just say? Yeah. What did I say, Rory? Because more challenging You wanted to, you wanted to, stay, away from, you wanted to stay away from the topic because we... Oh, because we might have an honest a, conversation about it. An honest conversation about it. You don't want to have the honest conversation? No. Okay. Well, what what would be dishonest in the statement of Drake's caption? Nothing. I, I feel that is very factual. No, there's nothing. No, this is all facts. Everything Wayne says about Drake is big facts, and everything Drake says about Wayne is big facts. All right, well, if you're scared, go to church, man. Come on. Let's let's talk about it. Y'all know this is not where we have honest conversations anymore, number one. Let's have one. Read the caption. The caption says, this man believed, this is Drake to, uh, about Wayne. This man believed in me after so many never called again or just didn't see it to begin with. He see, he wasn't embraced. Mm. Most selfless artist ever, never held any of us back, always pushed us forward every, every single night in people's faces, 20,000 packed into an arena, and he had a whole set of his show dedicated to introducing us for years. All praise and credit due to the GOAT. 
I like that. Very well said. Or or posted. Yeah, how much Each of you tell me what you think of Universal's handling of Lil Wayne versus their handling of Drake throughout their careers. Mm. That is my question to you all. Mm. See, when you say handling, I don't know how much of that I put on Wayne just moving on his own time and his own accord versus Drake moving on his time and his accord. Like, I think that Wayne purposely fell back and and disappeared from or tried to disappear from the spotlight a long time ago. I think he tried to uh, remove himself as much as he could. He's a, he's a megastar. So it's only so so low you can fly when you're as big as Wayne. But I, I think Wayne just got to a point where a lot of business deals happened in his career that he wasn't happy about. Um, he started, you know, seeing that a lot of his his business, his, his contracts were weren't in his best interest. And he decided, like, yo, I'm not I don't want to do this. Like, I'd rather not even put out music, fuck with music. I don't even want to be around it. Parks. Um, uh it's hard to say without really knowing uh, internally what was happening, but of speculation, I can see where you're going that Universal would have had the power to make it more interesting for him to stay, where they may have done that for Drake, because Drake was also uh, in whatever, a bunch of deals deep, mm-hmm. and he may have been incentivized by the major label system, where Wayne may not. I think that's what Joe is trying to uh, imply here. I, I need to understand okay. your question better. Okay, the question was, what do you think of Universal's handling of Lil Wayne versus their handling of Drake? I'll expound. And I was having this conversation with a few people. So I'll try to have it with you guys. And we don't have to stay here if this gets too honest of a conversation. Uh, The women have been left, so it's cool. (laughs) No, the women would love this. (laughs) The boy. (laughs) In hip-hop history, what are some of the things that come to mind when you think of cash money records? You don't have to say. It's a bunch of bad shit. As far as business? Don't. Yes. Okay. Sure, yeah, I don't think when that's, that's yeah. a weird take at all. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to follow what you're saying. How many billions of dollars do you think that cash money is responsible to bringing to the universal music system? Oh. That that system, which now owns and dominates the entire market share mm-hmm. they of did music. That, uh, universal is huge, too. but anyway. How many they billions a lot of, money. A lot of dollars money too, a lot of do you think a lot of money cash too. money is responsible a for? Lot. And, and, a lot of money and too. One billion? Two what? billion? Hard to say. Guess. It ain't hard. Y'all niggas work in music. Stop it. I'll guess. guess. I'll guess three billion. Guess. <laughs> three billion. If we're talking when Cash Money signed with Universal. It's just a guess. And then went to Young Money. Cash I'm, Money. I'm going to say in the tens of billions. Okay. And maybe, I'm going to say more. Maybe and I'm going to say hundreds. Yeah. I'm, okay. I'm just going to throw that if, out if there. If you go from Cash if, Money to Young if Money. You, if no, you it's, make it's, a company hundreds of billions of dollars. Mm-hmm. Or tens for that matter. Or any or, any, any of any billions. billions. Any billions. <laughs> should, should, should your reputation be that of we do janky business, we don't pay people, we don't X, Y, Z, we didn't have our accounting system down, packed. Should it no. honestly answer that? No. no, absolutely not. Not even close. Got it. Wayne found found Drake. Right. And Nikki. <laughs> and Tiger. All I'm saying is I would love <laughs> like, to see those Wayne, three. and I'm not comparing the two, mm-hmm. but when they talk about each other, it paints the path that Wayne laid. It makes it painfully and he, obvious. And he wasn't proud. I would like to see, you know what they gave? They gave Wayne a million dollars in a briefcase. Mm-hmm. Tell me if you can picture a world where Drake goes to jail at the height of his career over a gun that wasn't on him. Mm-hmm. You can't. Mm. Yeah, no, that doesn't happen. It's not never happening. <laughs> mm. That happened to Wayne. Mm-hmm. Right. The same Wayne that might tell you racism is not real. Mm-hmm. Think about this. It gets deep. <laughs> so when I ask you, what do you think of Universal's handling of Wayne versus their handling of Drake? What I'm saying is, 
I would love to see Wayne take a picture in his $100 million mansion that I'm certain he's earned. Yeah. I don't no. see that. A c- couple times over, Joe. Yeah, you know what I see? More than a couple times over. We've we've seen we've just seen different images. Mm. Yeah. I won't yeah. go any further into this, but um, do you it's think, sad. Do you think it's, it's sad. It's a it shame. Definitely is. It's fucked it is, up. It's definitely yeah. A shame. No, but I don't you think fuck, anybody. You fucking right. It's yeah, fucked I don't up. think anybody would ever uh, argue that. No, know? Drake is in his hundred million dollar mansion after all of the rappers clowned him for having ninety other people in his pockets. Right. Do I need to tell y'all what that says? After everybody ate, mm-hmm. I'm right. still good. I'm, I'm. I'll be at a billion. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah. You know how simple it would have been for Universal to get these niggas uh, an accountant if that was a problem? <laughs> you think if somebody came out right now and said, yo, Drake ain't paying me, they would step on that shit so fast? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I won't go any but, further but to, into this. To that point of what I think Drake left out of this caption, so what you're saying is, yeah, his mentor, Lil Wayne, he saw what happened with his career and changed some things. He was able Drake to was foresee... Drake was in the same exact... Position of you know, you them know, both having those, but but you know he's not now. Why, Rory? We're saying the same thing like we always do when we we're, argue. No, because, we're not, we're not because, arguing <laughs> because of Wayne. Wait, what? He's out of that deal now. He showed and us. On, he showed us saying, on that fucking. You're saying he's video. out of that deal because of Wayne? Because he, I'm saying he watched he, his mentor go through something with the same label he was signed to. Or you sat across from someone with a little more lenience for your position versus somebody else. Of course, but the Because core, we've but heard about Drake it, contract issues for years and years and years. And the, miraculously The core we, of it comes from this. We never hear the fix. But we know there's right. a fix. Right. There's a reason <laughs> there's a reason why Drake puts out a video that's damn near a nike commercial and the only thing he screenshots on his instagram is the end of it saying ovo that's because he's witnessed horrible contracts with himself the people that put him on the people surrounding him so yeah wayne had to go through that and drake is fixing it I'm it's, at, the, I'm same, at, I'm it's the same you. reason that all these artists the same shit that we revere nipsey for when nipsey would come on and say yo i'm seeing all these other artists get fucked i'm not doing that yeah, a lot of people got fucked so we could learn about these music contracts. And get, Drake I, is doing that because he I, saw what happened to Wayne. I get what Rory's saying, and I, and I understand what Joe is trying to go with it, too. And I think that, to both of y'all points, that it, there's, there's some truth to both of those it things. It probably lies somewhere in the middle. Yeah, I know yeah. what Joe is saying. I, and I, I totally Well, not everyone is that. Drake, so no, I know what no, Joe no, is no, saying. No, absolutely. But, it, but I, get what, I know I, what I know Joe that. is saying. I know I what know Joe that, is going but, with it, and it's, it's a deeper conversation. But um, I also understand what you're saying, Rory, as well. Like, you definitely learn from people's experiences and say, okay, I'm not going down that. You can that. learn all the fuck you want to learn. I agree. If you're sitting, you get a, if you're sitting across just are. from somebody who yeah. don't give a fuck about you and your learnings, yeah. then nothing will change. Absolutely. Oh, I agree. I'm talking specifically about Drake and this. I know exactly what you're so saying. So why was it different for Drake and not artist, Wayne? Not every artist has that luxury. I'm uh, asking. We're talking about two people that are both some of the greatest we ever seen. So mm-hmm. the, the yeah, playing sure. field is even. Yeah. We're not talking about what we were talking about earlier, Travis and Cy. We're mm-hmm. talking about Drake and Wayne. Right. Why was one afforded reparations and one not? To our knowledge, because we don't know. We don't know. Right. We don't know. We don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's unfair to say. We just know the optics today look different. Yeah. Which is why I said I understand what you're trying to say. And I don't like it. So when I see this, that's where my brain goes. Mm. I get it. Yes, they love each other. Everything they're saying about each other will always be correct because that's mm-hmm. a bond. That's blood, sweat. That's sweat equity. Oh, yeah. No, well, what that. Wayne did for they Drake is, is... And I, I, mean, I think a lot of Wayne's sweat equity is why Drake is in this Wayne situation. Wayne is owed a blank fucking check. That's a fact. I agree. How about oh, oh, that? No, no, no. How about I, fuck all this other shit? Wayne is owed a blank we'll, check we'll never from whoever there. will give Drake a blank check. We'll I, never I disagree there. I agree with yeah. you on that. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'd like to see him get but, I mean, different times, different circumstances. And all he did was ask, yo, give me my car to four money. Like, he ain't even flip. He wasn't even asking for much. Right. <laughs> like, he wasn't even asking for the other shit. I love these guys, man. I love these guys. Yeah, me too. That's why that's my honest talk for the day. And okay. quickly, it's going to sound like some Hove Avenger shit. And, of course, we bring Hove into a conversation that had nothing to do with him. Yeah, how you got on Hove from that? Because Damn. I watched, I watched <laughs> the first... Damn. I know he's going with it. I watched the first episode of... um. 
the Rough Riders Chronicles, and when Hove went and became the president of Def Jam, he cleared X's whole twelve million dollar debt the moment he became president. Mm. That was real. Like that's something to be said that we didn't know. Mm. <laughs> that was never brought up. Back to the cloud chasing shit. Like no one's ever said. Did a, a fake press release like sources tell us this <laughs> such and such did this it was like nah that person told their publicist to put that out. See, hey, to like, call back to our earlier topic, <laughs> we don't have to debate it. And if Hove would have came out and said, "Yo, I cleared DMX's twelve million dollar debt so he could be at the next label debt free," know what I would have said? You're clout chasing. <laughs> no, that's not clout chasing. I'm telling you what I w- I would have called that clout chasing. Yeah, no, that's, that's clout chasing. Clout chasing. Okay. I get I mean, what you're that's not cloud. Okay, yeah, and on. that's we also have, we I mean, have to fight about it. I I'm just telling you what I would have said. To me, saying where when it comes to money and certain things and how we was raised, we just don't say things out loud because it's corny to say them out and loud. When you say that out loud, like and credit. when you say that loud, you view it a certain way. Listen, you get yeah. it. You sit here and get to dropping a whole bunch of names about how your last week was, and I'm a, I'm gonna look at you funny. Start <laughs> telling me you went and had lunch with Sierra for no reason. I'm like, fuck, is you telling me for? <laughs> you're a cloud chasing. <laughs> you're not lunch if you are telling me something that just for what? It's like, fam. Stop it. Yeah, I, I give Any holes. No, sorry, I'm laughing at Maul coming in and saying he had lunch with Sierra. <laughs> Joe just had me doing the wildest <laughs> shit. Lunch. <laughs> you had lunch with Sierra. I love lunch with Sierra. That would be I awesome. would love to have lunch with I mean, with lunch with Sierra would be all right. Yeah, that would yeah, be a fun conversation. That's what I'm saying. That would be fucking uh, great. But what was I talking about just now? Oh, know. cloud chasing and shit like that? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, I don't care about that anymore. Uh, and no, that but no, but no, no, there's actually the even a, but there's a topic there, too. There's a topic there, too, in... And X not wanting to listen to Hove because Hove was in a position mm. because he felt like Hove, that happens. That was he felt like he was, was a better peer. rapper than Hove. It was, yeah, it was, it was his peer. It's always that's that's a problem in our culture though. That is a huge problem. Like we don't want to. That's a big to, problem. Yeah, if you're my peer, but you hold a a different position and at a company. Because if X, you feel like you was better than Hove, I feel like you was better than anybody that was going to be in that seat. That That's not only applicable to Hove. Right. Mm. I look then you, at it you better than Lior. If one of my peers is in that <laughs> seat, then I, I feel like, okay, now we have a chance to really make some, some changes. Mm. That's just how I look at shit like that. I'm not going to look at it like, oh, it's my peer. I'm not listening to him. No, that's my peer. So he knows where we come from, what we what we about. Okay. And that's the difference. You, good point. That is the difference. One of the differences between men and women. Follow me here. I'm going to connect you to how I got here from earlier when they were showing Cardi B give Meg the Stallion a Birkin bag mm-hmm. in celebration of their song going number one on the charts. Congrats to them, by the way. 100% congrats yeah, to them. Let me, hit, uh, let me hit the applause button as soon as I can find it. Here we go. Major, right here. that's major. It definitely is. Uh, so she gave her a Birkin bag with some cool shit written on it, a cool picture, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. And then Meg wrote some shit on Instagram. Oh, my God. Thank you so much, friend. Oh, I love you. This is beautiful. And this is awesome. And she was really happy and appreciative about it, right? Mm-hmm. And the first thing my brain said is, that's the difference between men and women. I would feel like that's a sunning. If somebody bought you that? They don't give me no fuck. Fine. Play with me. <laughs> no, that's crazy, though. <laughs> I understand. No, it's I, not. No, no, I understand. That's and that's a common in hip hop. That's a common way to think. With men and women, you have to con- watch for the subtle ways of sunning. Even when it looks like you cool and fly with somebody, I would take this. But I'm not a girl, right? As a sunning. Don't your record hit number one, and then you buy me some shit that I maybe may or may not can afford, and then draw all over it. No, if you're going to give me the fucking bag, then give me the bag blank. That's me as a man speaking from ego. Right. And that, I imagine, is how DMX felt. I am better than him. Get him the fuck out of here. And it's a mistake. But I understand how men make it. Yeah. Because it's a lot of ego with us. And when you when you operate your brain like, like when your brain operates that way, it's mad. you catch all the little slick ways that the chicks be trying to sun chicks. <laughs> They're getting tricky with the sunning of chicks. Yeah. Like a lot of you chicks are being sunned and have no idea. I can't tell you because then I'm in woman business. <laughs> you mean like making their child a vegan diet via DM? <laughs> callback. Good callback. <laughs> All right, what else is happening that's really important? Let's see. Nights like this, I wish. Raindrops would 
Beautiful. Uh, no more why being on Cordy's name. Round of uh, Cordy's name. Round of applause. I love when the youngsters do some shit that they should have did that's gonna further their career. I love it. I love it. I love it. Cordae is a grown ass man with grown ass lyrical wop. He does have lyrical wop. He's wop. another one with some lyric wop. Give it up to him. Yeah. Shout out to Cordae on the name change. I fuck with it. I appreciate it. Salute to you. Uh, also, there was rumblings of a fake scissor track list running around. I do think it was fake. Because I don't think SZA fucks with us enough to show us a track list. Mm. I agree. Uh, wasn't she talking about doing some like whole hard drive dump of just putting a bunch of records out? Like the way that Frank Ocean did the Lonnie Bro project where it's just like 45 unfinished songs. Like she suggested I just that. have to get these out type shit. Uh, I don't know if TD felt the same way, I guess. Well, the, uh, we went through that with Control. Frank Ocean is a wild, a wild boy. What Frank did? <laughs> I don't know. He called some nigga a tornado. When <laughs> did that happen? Yo, Joe is a fucking idiot. I swear to God. He didn't call some nigga. <laughs> what do you think he was talking about? <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't calling Oh, you're nigga. talking about on uh, thinking about you? This nigga's stupid. <laughs> it, it took me a second. Yes, it did. It. Frank is a wild boy. Man. What happened, Joe? A tornado, tornado flew around my room. <laughs> Excuse the mess it made. <laughs> Joe, All right, forget it, forget it, forget it. Forget it, forget it, forget it. Sun Mouth game was crazy. Yep. Oh, that was another one. They called me Smiles and Mouth Star. <laughs> you don't hear Rory, though. Sun's Mouth game was crazy. <laughs> Yo, y'all are sick. Yo, his nickname is Tornado. Just one second. Oh man, <laughs> you know the motions. I ain't even met a chick named Tornado. <laughs> they could never put another song out after NATO came through. <laughs> NATO <laughs> with the double after grip. NATO came through. <laughs> you know, yo, bro, you nasty. I'm uh, hearing you on the side of me talking about double grip. Yeah, you hear, bro. <laughs> yeah, he What's up, bro? He's going crazy, man. Fuck out of here. Rory, look. Right, now now y'all Rory? don't like the double grip with the head. All right, no, cool. No, no, heard y'all. No, heard y'all. No, heard y'all. No, we with you on that. But in context of yeah, what we talking about just... now, we cool. Yeah. <laughs> no, you don't know what he's not gonna sit next to me talking about double gripping. <laughs> you don't know the state of my shit. You don't know nothing, nigga. Get out of here. Well, Joe. Nasty. Ass. What's wrong with this? <laughs> Double gripping. Oh my god! Hey, chicks trying to get all fancy now. Look, now my dick done disappeared. Move your hand down. <laughs> Big ass hands. Move your hands down. <laughs> Move your hand down. Look at my work. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, you see the work. <laughs> the work. You know my body. Oh. Man. Oh. All right. All right. What else is important, man? Let's see. Uh, let's see. Math versus meth. Is that, was real? that real? Yeah, yeah I, I didn't saw know. That. Was that real? Uh, it's real. Really? Where is that? Uh, don't say DSP? After you ask me if it's real and I say it's real, don't say really. No, really. It really is. Okay. So Method Man is battle rapping. I didn't know that. Somehow, this, I just said it. <laughs> I didn't know that. It's I, really I feel like we would have known that, though. Yeah. I feel like that would have been All an right, announcement. Now you know. I just announced it But to it you. happened already. No. Oh, okay. It's coming. They're just promoing and teasing, man. Okay. React. What do you think? Gotcha. Um, no, Joe. You tell us what your opinion on Method Man in a battle would be. <laughs> Historically, this has gone really well. <laughs> well, I've learned. I've learned from that first debacle. I think M E T H O D Man is coming and spread some lyrics over how many grits, <laughs> some butter lyrics. That's that's what I think. Math better look out. <laughs> Valid. Valid. Yo, you're brave for even just oh, bringing no, this topic. Oh, no, it happened already. Right. <laughs> it happened already. That's what I'm saying. I feel like we would have known about this. I feel like this is part of something. This is like a, a, a scene in a TV show or something. And I've watched Math Battle before, and he never gives people credit when they rap. Like, his face is <laughs> scrunched up. Well, if if, if Meth was spitting anything like he was spitting on 
That joint with Conway. I can see why Mav is making his face like that. Yeah, he, he went crazy. <laughs> he went crazy on that verse. He went crazy on that joint. This is interesting, though. This to is see Mav jump in something. this ring. All right, well. I would love to see whatever. it. I would definitely like to I just, see it. It appears like this is something else, not just a straight that looks battle. like acting. That's what I'm saying. When I said Matt's face, I've seen Matt in a battle. He ignores anyone that speaks unless he's punching them in the face. Now I'm going home <laughs> to watch Keith Murray versus Fredro Starr again. Nah, it's a classic. Best battle in the world. That was a classic. <laughs> it was definitely a classic. Should have went triple. Um, <laughs> it it might have. <laughs> let's see. What else do we have here? Da -da 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 that Radio Hall of Fame. Uh, before we get to the playoffs, Patty Duke, Drake, Washington, football team, pardon me, names Black President. That's, That's big. a big deal, Jason Wright. It's a big deal. Round of applause for that, for real. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think they recorded that applause? It was just four people in the room. How many takes? Actually, it was the same stacked person it. just stacked it. <laughs> <laughs> the same person just stacked it. Well, congrats. Absolutely. Y'all want to read? Is there, is there, uh, did he give a statement? That's all they gave the black man, huh? We are happy to announce that well, we have appointed Jason Wright as the team president of the Washington football team. <laughs> I got something that I shouldn't laugh at, but since there's no music being released and there's not much to talk about, I'll tell you about some of the things I privately, privately find humor in. And first of Let all, us have it, Joe. round of applause, round of applause, round of applause, man. Boy, do I love, I love an underdog story, man. I love when the odds are stacked against someone. And Me too. I like that. They find a way to overcome. And that's exactly what happened in the case of Alex Smith. Mm. Uh, winning record, horrible injury. Yeah. Went through 97 million surgeries. Uh and he's now been cleared to play professional football. I don't think enough attention is getting, getting put on that. I made the round of applause one more time mm -hmm. for Alex Smith because that is a, an amazing, an amazing feat to be cleared after that injury that he suffered. That's right? terrific. Yes? Yeah. Yes, yeah, no, we, we all agree there? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. <clears throat> now, <laughs> Alex Smith... <laughs> Oh, yeah. See, I knew I knew the round of applause and all the the love. Wait, you thought the, this was going to be genuine yeah, when you yeah, started that? Because I, I, I definitely I, didn't. All right, all right so wh where are we going, Joe? Let me know. Alex Smith is actively trying to make the team with his large contract he got before the injury after they drafted a quarterback. Right. Uh, they took Chase Young. Okay. No, Haskins. No, no, they took Haskins. Haskins. Yeah. Oh, they took Haskins? They got, they got, uh, Chase yeah. Young, they did take Chase too, Young, they took, but Dwayne Haskins oh, okay, is, okay, their, yeah. is their, the quarterback that they took off uh, last year. And as much as I hate hate to say it, when do y'all think they're cutting Alex Smith from the Washington football team? Um, He might be there to to coach the uh, the young quarterback. To yeah, the, the, the veteran. Yeah, he, they might keep help him, him out. For that. I can see that. I can see Good that backup slash Haskins didn't QB look great coach last year, so I'm sure they would want someone with some... some Experience to give him some tutelage. Yeah, I can see that happening. Yeah, them leaving the, him on there. Yeah, you can see them probably pay him twenty million to just. Hey, he gets paid way more than twenty million. He signed that deal before he got hurt. Can pay him thirty million to, to look over Haskins. Like what what, yeah, what yeah, you're yeah. saying, right? Yeah. If if I'm I'm paying, chaperone, if you will. You, you if I have to dicks. contractually, <laughs> that's what he's going to <laughs> pay you thirty Shut million. Up. Yes, you better mentor be, my which, fucking young quarterback. Yeah, he got he got paid before that injury. If I'm paying you that much money, yes, you staying on this team and you're coaching my young quarterback. Yeah, a lot of that shit was guaranteed too. So yeah, you guys. I just let you go. Got to earn your keep over here. Yeah. Well, let's see. Okay. I think I think they'll keep him, especially this season. Y'all know this, they drafted this. Chase Young, right? Yeah. What's yeah. gonna What's gonna happen in the practice? <laughs> That's a good point. What's happening in the practice? Chase, Chase Young, the rookie, <laughs> facing off against Alex Smith. As you telling me? I don't. Don't worry. No, about I don't know. We'll, if we'll Alex, just watch it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. We'll no, play it out. No, I'm we'll just saying, watch. I don't know if he'll be. Uh, he, he's not going to be on field. He's not going to be an opposite snaps. Chase Young. No, 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 no. Definitely not. Definitely not. No, I don't think that they often uh, line up the first first team linemen against their quarterbacks. By the way, even in a non, uh, I shattered my leg in half. 
I won't rest until I find out what MC Search thinks about all of this. <laughs> Call him. By the way, I won't rest. <laughs> I would not rest. Joe will be knocked out as soon as he <laughs> Nothing but rest coming. <laughs> I would not rest. MC Search. <laughs> These guys are awesome. Well, we didn't get into Pete Nice's opinion. And we won't. <laughs> we never did get down to the white on white beef with Pete Nice versus MC Search a couple months ago. True. That's y'all department. It was never solved. R- Rory, we, we didn't care. I, I, I don't. <laughs> I, I, honestly, I don't let give these, a let these white boys in the culture <laughs> <laughs> I'm running amok. Yeah. Uh, hey, MC Search said. I promise you, I don't care either. Which is fucked up because third base is probably a huge Joe Button fans. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and you're a huge third base fan, so. Yeah, that's true. Gas face. I bought it. <laughs> Classic album. Hey, exactly. Rory <laughs> using your dad's nuts when I, I bought Gas Face. I, I definitely was not around for Gas Face. Uh, I was around for MF Doom, though, who was on Gas Face. I was, telling, I, and I was telling the MC Hammer fans, like, y'all on that? Yeah. <laughs> gas yeah. Face is the real hip-hop. <laughs> the real hip-hop at eight, nigga. They, they turned they turn Hammer's up. mother out. Go make you a sandcastle and shut up. <laughs> a sandcastle. Uh, where is... And I'm not fucking with... with MC Hammer, man. Not at all. He's got the goons. Yeah. Where is yeah, one hundred percent. Again, something else I learned the hard way. I beefed with MC Hammer on Twitter for a little bit. Holy shit. When he, he, was, the when wrong he person. was running through the woods. I didn't know that he was a fucking black taekwondo belt with, he's, with he's, weapons. Uh, uh, he's military and crip. That's the problem with party. Yeah. You, you can't talk about anybody. Yeah. No, no, MC just Hammer's know you a crip. About. Nick Cannon's a crip. <laughs> Fucking Bow Wow's a crip. I, well, yeah, <laughs> Chris it, Brown is a blood. But MC Hammer's a different crip. You can't talk about any yeah, of those, them. This, it's it's, it's levels to crip. <laughs> Ray J's a blood. Yeah. Uh, he's, Allegedly. He's on the other level. Allegedly. He's on the hammer level. Yeah. Allegedly. Don't, like, don't be fooled by the scooty bikes. <laughs> Please <laughs> that don't. That nigga roll your fucking face over. <laughs> no. Nah. You don't want to fuck a Ray J, man. There's nobody we can talk about. No, you can't. Just know who you're talking about. That's all. And just say respect. Megan the Stallion has a number, scored a number one. <laughs> Scores. <laughs> She's a Latin king. All right, let's see. Apple, Apple Radio. <laughs> Apple Music Radio. I'm promoting that shit. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, I'm promoting anything Apple and Apples. Go Summer Walker. Yeah. Feed your baby Apples. Yeah. And titles. Summer Walker definitely was throwing some shade at somebody, a baby mama somewhere. <laughs> Absolutely. How do you she knew who she into, was t- oh, texting. You're not, you're not feeding your baby pears? <laughs> no, no, Summer. <laughs> None of us are. <laughs> one pear, one apple a day, and then water. All right, Beats Radio is now Apple Radio. They have announced Snoop Dogg, Ciara, Young and May, Loki, and Nadeska all have shows. Yes, it's been uh, in, the, in the works for a while. Ta-da! Congrats <laughs> to them. Congrats. Shout out to Lo. Uh, uh, it was a good rebrand. Apple Radio, I don't think Low, low, paying. low, low. I seen you talking, you and Cass. I seen y'all talking the other day about how you feel when gay guys give you compliments. I didn't see that clip. <laughs> they said Expound. It was, they said it was special. They said it's different. Low-key said when a gay guy gives you a compliment, uh, what did he say that I thought was a cool little example that he gave? Oh, it's like uh, he said it's like finding money in the jeans that you forgot about. I did that today. <laughs> That's a good joke, actually. I, I, I thought that was pretty cool. I found a dub in the pocket today, man. I was hype. Well, <laughs> white <Man>. well. <laughs> so you're saying you found a dude? I I did not. I, I don't think that's what he was saying. No, Can we? I, you know, off the low joke. Never mind. Y'all know yeah. we was. I was. I see where you're going it was a it. metaphor personification <laughs> simile. Simile. Remember that talk we was having <laughs> earlier know. about uh, self-diagnosing ourselves, yeah. like with some of the things we have. Like, yeah, I said I might have a a d a and d ointment. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, so you have some a d d. I got a and d ointment. Mm-hmm. Uh, a d d a d h d Tourette's mm-hmm. bipolar syndrome. Mm-hmm. Where am I have some of the gay? <laughs> I mean, I'm fluid. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> y'all are stupid, man. Y'all are I fucking have some stupid. of the gay. Y'all are, y'all are fucking stupid, man. <laughs> Comparing that to having ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 
<laughs> we were talking about things that we might have. <laughs> no, but let's, that was a good conversation. Let's get into that. How, how are we self-diagnosing ourselves? I definitely have OCD. No question. I have some of that. Yeah, yeah. And ODD. Don't get... Do- ODD <laughs> I got some OD. OPP oh, You down with OPP <laughs> and, and some OPP You know me I got all of that shit Yeah OCD Ta-da <laughs> Look how I turned out <laughs> I'm, Mama I made it <laughs> Um. Alright come on What's important The playoffs The playoffs <laughs> The playoffs are important For sure I missed it You gotta hit me What's a happening? lot of people didn't know they started yesterday. I was out of town. We had no internet, no TV. So, um, go Knicks. Right. <laughs> yeah, they they're gone. Well, that's what happened. <laughs> yeah, they're gone. The Knicks are gone. They've been gone. Oh, yeah. Jamal Murray's a Nick, and he went off. He's a Nick. Yeah, he's a Nick. All right. Michael Porter Jr. is supposed to be a Nick. Yo, you got to make up a, the supposed to be Knicks. Steph Curry. The supposed to be Knicks is fire. Hey, Denver right. put. Hey, Denver put Michael Michael Porter Jr. in the game in the fourth quarter. Who's a high high lottery pick and um, scoring machine? Took <laughs> took his ass out two minutes later after. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey hey, they checked him in the game and say, hey, go do- uh, guard Mitchell Mm-mm. in the fourth. <laughs> now right before they said that, I'm watching the game and I'm saying, yo, I don't think Spider passing it no more. Yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just kept. It's it's it looked night. like that. Yeah. Yeah, he just kept going. They put Porter right in on him. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that wasn't. Yo, I love watching these rookies try to guard people that are amazing. They say, eh, "Get him out of here." Porter got out of here. There was no Bo Bo sighting. I hate Yo Jokovic, Jokovic, Jovic. You was never, you never like Jokic. Why? They're not gonna win with him. It's not that I hate him. He's really, really, really good. I just don't think you're gonna win running your offense through your four who can't jump. Winning a championship. Yeah, you're not winning a championship through running uh, your offense through your well, four who can't jump at all, and that's what that is. And Jamal have, Murray, oh, man. You don't like Murray? He's tough. I love him. He's tough. I love him, but he need more of that, that, that click in him. Like when something click where he just take it over, Well, he, had a he good need game. more of that. He just didn't have the game that Mitchell. But I will no, say No, no, he stepped up when he seen that uh, uh, Spider was bugging. He was like, all right, no, 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 I'm nice too, fam. Yeah. You trying to embarrass you acting like this Drew League. But that's what I like about the bubble. The fact that you can have a game like Mitchell had and, and then lose. now we're all in the same on the same campus. You have to see me right after the game. So M- Murray's by the pool or Mitchell's by the pool and <laughs> it's was- like we got to see each other. Like I just gave you our 57. I mean, we lost, but see, again, that to me was a sunning. I gave you 57. Oh no! Uh, Give us all fifty-seven. Is yo, a shout out! No, 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 no! Jamal Murray panning the camera to a nigga sitting lonely on a bench after, yeah, after a loss, <laughs> fifty-seven and a loss. Yeah, you won. He's talking about, oh, he just had fifty-seven. Yeah. That's a sunning. <laughs> yeah, that like is that, a though. subtle sunning. I like that. I just like the fact that it's playing. And Mitchell basketball. looked over like, come on, fam, come yeah, on, that yeah, ain't what lost. I'm here. Come yeah. on, yeah, watching game footage. <laughs> yeah, I like it though. I like it. Ben Simmons went down. He's out of here. Joel Embiid disappearing. Not Hakeem the Dream. Mm. No. Mm-mm-mm. Tobias Harris, rich for nothing. You don't like Tobias? I like all of them. Oh. I think that's a bad matchup. Uh, a bad matchup for Philly having Boston, even though there's no Gordon Haywood now. Ha ha. Win for the blacks. <laughs> Take that, nigga. Stop trying to score on equality. <laughs> and now you don't hurt yourself. Now you can't play. Sit down for Scoring four weeks. Quality. <laughs> yeah, sit down for four weeks now. Yeah. Um, that was my takeaway from that game. Gordon Hayward's fucked up, so the Celtics probably Most won't go too right. far. No, nah, they, 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 because they, they won't be Toronto. They've been in this position without him. They won't be Toronto. Oh no, I don't think they'll be Toronto. I kind of like Toronto now. I'm that guy. Uh, who else played? Oh, the Nets for some reason are still allowed in Orlando. Why haven't any? Why hasn't anyone escorted Karis Levert home with his buddies? Yeah, he he hooping though. He the only one. I was yeah mad he, at, he um, hooping man. He showed up in that ninety to thirty blowout. I, <laughs> I was mad when uh, Crawford got hurt though because I, I think that he was one of those players that would have he would have killed this bubble because this is just an offensive display now. Like these teams, if you have a, a player that can go get a bucket and can score, like the team is finding him, giving him the ball, everybody move. And Jamal Crawford is 
one of the greatest that would do that. My goal against the Raptors would be to not let Fred Van Cleet get off. Enough of this. <laughs> Fred, Fred be getting off And you don't even realize it Until you You know, how I, feel, you know how I feel About Fred Van Cleet Getting off How you feel about it Tell us One time I saw A, a, a threesome take place Where <laughs> Where the, the really 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 thick girl That I thought Would be like a Sex monster And sex machine Yeah Where She began having sex with the really, really skinny girl that I thought was fragile and delicate. And the fragile, delicate girl uh, gave her issue? That big bitch never wanted to see that skinny girl again. Yeah. <laughs> she shouldn't have been paired with that animal. Mm. That, was a, that was a monster. And you know what I said? How is this big bitch getting <laughs> handled like by this <laughs> small girl? That is how I feel when I watch Fred Van Cleet. Yeah. How is this little guy doing all of this yeah he's, he's deceptive talk about J.J. Barea reincarnated <laughs> what a man that Fred <laughs> <laughs> oh he went crazy on the Nets uh, yeah he had a great game uh, and it was one more game there was one more game Clippers, one more Mavs. game Clippers Mavs I didn't talk about it Clippers lucked out yeah that uh, that ejection was was bad Porzingis definitely shouldn't have been ejected out of that game. And Porzingis definitely shouldn't have been saying nothing to Marquise Morris. Why? Uh, because we've already heard stories about Porzingis getting beat the fuck up outside of London bars. <laughs> we, we have plenty of stories of Porzingis thinking smoke was available and then getting smoked. Mm. He should be the last one to test somebody. Well, you got to hold your teammates down, though, no matter what. I mean, he had his teammates with him in London, too. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got to hold your teammates down, man. I, th that was a bad call, though. Hey, the Knicks told us Clee Anthony Early got shot at the strip club and never gave us an update. Ever. <laughs> no. It, they just, it, got, it, they it, just it, got away from that. <laughs> hey, I'm still waiting on Fox News to tell me why Chris Carter was fired. Hmm. There's some things I'm waiting on. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> what? You got a long list of things? They came out and was like, yo, he's fired. All right, nigga, why? What he did? <laughs> J.P. Morgan. Deion Sanders is on Barstool now. Is he? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I saw that. Dope. Shout out to Deion. Podcast or something content specific? I, I'm only worried about our fortune. I don't, I don't know. Fortune. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. He could okay. be farting over there. <laughs> Shout out to Dion. Um, any more playoff takeaways? Come on, tonight, tonight, Maul, give us a great Laker take. Great Laker take. Even uh, though the game will have already been played. Yeah. You know we rely on you for our sports takes here. There's a whole community <laughs> that would not know what to feel like without your takes. Uh, I got the <laughs> drop got a jam you. on them. Game one. Uh, I, I got the Blazers by five. Yeah, yeah. I think the Blazers are still in game mode. They they had to play the uh the turn the the, the the win in tournament, or they won their first game. The Lakers have had more days off. I think that I think that hurts them. Hmm. I think I'm one of those people. I think that rest is good, but if your team is still oh, in, oh no, why he did that to John Moran? Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, <laughs> I, I got the I got the Blazers by five. That was, little, that was insane. Blazers by five. But Tonight. I do think that the uh, the Clippers will win it all if they stay he stay healthy, though. I think Kawhi is just that much help, that much talent on that team. I, uh, it's not it's not going to be easy for a team to beat that team four times. I don't see it happening. Not four times. Can't beat the Clippers four times. You want to bet, right. bet anything on that? Or no, me just, and you. No, I'm, I'm just, I, no, I don't know if I want to bet. I just want to know if you stand firm enough to bet in that. That the Clippers will win it all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would bet it. I trail, mean, it's, trail back. You like that? Love it, love it. They um, Kawhi is just. Well, I got another one of your stupid fucking sports takes that you need to repent for. Which one? Because for years you came in here and shitted on Austin Rivers. Me? Really? I'm, maybe I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> hey, tell me. Tell me more. Yes. Okay. You said if there's one player that doesn't deserve to be in the league, it's Austin Rivers. And he Damn, only I got said a, that about Austin? Yeah, you said he only got a job because of his dad, and he's a bum. And Chris Paul knows he's a bum, and he shouldn't be on the Clippers, and that's what all the Rockets was about. Oh. And then they traded him. Oh. 
<laughs> and he don't look bad. What, Houston? Come on, Maul. Give it up. I mean, he's not a bad player. If I said that, that probably was premature early in his career. When you said the Lakers should trade LeBron. <laughs> For more pieces? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I would. I'm, I'm telling you, every week I'm just remembering some shit Maul said. Okay. Yeah. If you can get four young, good players right now. I mean, LeBron's, what, 35? No one's making that trade. I mean, for other I reasons. For other reasons, saying. not basketball reasons. It's marketing. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's money. I get it. Yeah. But if you're trying to build for the future around Anthony, a younger Anthony Davis. No one's trying to build for the future. <laughs> <laughs> that, Have you, you seen right outside? That? That's a big fact. Listen, you're right about that. Westbrook is, Westbrook is hurt. Do you think this alters Houston's chances? Uh, uh, I, Houston, but I said, why I, can't I talk? Houston's chances I, at all. I said Houston was might not uh, make it out the first round before Russ got hurt. I just don't think that that team, uh, that style of play, I don't think that um, I don't think that it's, 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 it's a lot of success with that style of play. Even though they've had some success, but no. Nah, and this and this uh, this clip, this um, OKC team is is tough. Got it. Yeah, I don't see I don't see Houston making it out the first round. All right, I think that's all my basketball stuff, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, uh, any of you guys been following this uh, Nikki? Tracy Chapman copyright thing that's going on right now, a lawsuit? No. No, inform me. Uh, and I more, more will Tracy be revealed, Chapman. but this is going to be, I think, a significant thing um, that may happen in the music industry, depending on how this case comes out. Uh, so quick backstory, Nicki had a record called Sorry With Nas that didn't make the Queen album that was a sample of Tracy Chapman. Okay. They could not clear it because according to... The music industry, Tra- Tracy Chapman is on that do not sample list. Mm, like where, Prince. Like, you're, not, you're not clearing it, whether you like it or not. Brand new we did. Okay. <laughs> Fair. Um, they was fucking though. Look how fast shit just starts. Or, <laughs> yeah. Look how fast. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I guess, and I, I don't remember this, but I guess Flex, I, Nikki sent this record to Flex when Queen came out and he played this record okay. that's not on the album that was not monetized it's not on streaming it's not on anything Flex played this record with her and Nas with that sample and now he's suing for copyright infringement uh, I don't think he could do that well his lawyer says yes the fuck we can and I agree with Nikki because her only quote is this is going to change the music recording industry one way or the other because if we can now sue everybody for Copyright Leaks? infringement for something that we're not monetizing, you're going to sue every artist for the past 15 to 20 years. In 30 years. <laughs> 40 years. Yeah. You can't sue people for shit that's not out. That's you insanity. can YouTube anything <laughs> and find... That's insanity. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to look at this, this lawsuit carefully I as this goes because this, this, really this is significant if this gets off. I don't understand their what, lawyers she could, what are damages very, she could claim exist. I don't know. But the lawyer is quoted in this whole Billboard article, super confident, yes, it's copyright infringement, we're going to win this case. How? That's interesting. Yeah. It's extremely interesting, because that so, will be, no one will be able to do anything. <laughs> that, and that's what Nikki was saying in that small quote that she had. This is gonna yeah. change everything if y'all go through with this. No, that that fake uh that fake tweet or post that you sent me. Oh yeah. <laughs> when it said uh Spotify is now only paying uh artists for the the parts of the songs that they're actually talking on or rapping on. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I was like, wait, is this real? Wait, because that's, if that's, that's not, the case, that's, that's not real, right? No, no. It's not real. It's like, but that's why I looked at it like that, and I was like, if that's the case, niggas is coming straight on the track. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be no no breathe. Let that be breathe. Those <laughs> days are over with. Nah, just rapping straight. Yeah, 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 it's coming back. Yeah. Everybody gonna be the baby. Fan. <laughs> that was a good joke. <laughs> Oh, uh, I saw a meme that made me laugh, but it's too stupid for me to bring up here. I'll say it anyway. Who was it? <laughs> but it's dumb. <laughs> you niggas going crazy over bitches with that wop. I'm going crazy over the bitches with that wop, baby, <laughs> <laughs> That was really dumb. <laughs> I, I, laugh, really funny though. I laugh at these stupid shit, man. People are stupid, man. <laughs> Last week when y'all were talking about Dior, I was trying to remember that. <laughs> 
little meme I saw when it said, you niggas broke as hell trying to stunt with these uh, designer brands. Nigga, if you don't get your pure ass out of here. <laughs> yeah. It makes no sense, but it's funny. People are stupid. Yeah. He can't give you get D- your pure ass out of here. How's well, the big meme? Yo, can, you, you can't give you Dior because he's pure. Back to P Valley. I love how this light skin, uh, the light skin stink chick walks stink and don't have no furniture in the house. I mean, but you know, you know her though. She's scamming. We all no, know. You, you we know, know her. Yes. And her shit fire. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Come on, you fucked on the mattress on the floor and it was some of the best sex you ever had. Next week, we got to come in here. I'm going to come in here and talk about how having the fire ain't enough. Yeah, oh, and you're yeah. older. That's fire ain't sure. enough. You need yeah. more. But, but when you don't you learn that until you get older. Yeah, yeah before well, yeah, 30, well, the fire is When you was young, yeah, that's all you need. Just, all you need just give me fire. the fire. Yeah. yeah. After 30, I'll figure everything else out. <laughs> after 34, 35, you're like, all right, all right what are we doing? Yeah, this ain't it. Fire. After broken and, things in your house. Yeah, and, yeah, this ain't it. And I'll be honest, now I'm starting to realize I really like Am I Crooked Letter because I didn't really like how y'all laughed when I said that I, I was into her. No, I laughed. Like, no, nah, I still feel you, a way. No, I only laughed. An hour later. You stayed on brand with your. <laughs> With your uh, your likes allegedly things likes. you likes allegedly, allegedly, likes. allegedly, allegedly likes. likes she sl- she slim thick. <laughs> Don't ever say that again. <laughs> she's nice though. She's cute. I just like her personality. <sighs> That's all I was getting at. Strong, As the episodes go, strong. I'm really starting to get to see her mm. inner her inner self, her true right. self, her true self. Is and, this a, is and you see, she's a good mother. I, she be man. hitting the stage, come right back, feed her daughter in the back. Then put then put the baby back in the locker. She had that baby. To any, she, had, she, she had that baby to anybody with arms. Yeah, <laughs> that child is passed around. <laughs> you ain't had a baby father access. So, so when you be dancing, who be watching it? <laughs> anybody? You no, know, you know, whoever's around. And even though that bouncer could fight, he trying to save her. Yeah, he like her. You might have to step to him. I'm watching it with a chick to think he's cute. <laughs> Oh, and her baby father's white. I see where you going, Rory. I, know, yeah, I, I know. see what you're doing. I see what Rory's doing. You little uh, nasty devil. Yeah, and an abusive white man that abandoned his family. Yeah, That's you. I, I'm her type. Yeah, exactly. That's you. <laughs> is this a safe space? You no, guys? Of course. Is the door locked? Yeah, it's never yeah, the been. The door's locked. Good. If this is a safe space, which it is not, I'll share with you guys in confidence. Okay. When uh, Lil, Mur- Lil Murder came in there and told, told Shorty his real name. was like, yo, I want to take you somewhere, man. Anywhere you want to go. And she was like, where you going to take me, Murder? Wait, when, that was a good impression. Yeah, too. I don't Wait, like the fact that you I don't just, like that you just sounded just like yeah, yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that. You know, you're not supposed to sound like Cliff. Where are you going to fuck me? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Don't tell me I sound like Duke. I don't want to fuck Duke. Because he sound I don't want to fuck Duke or you. He sounds sexy. You're projecting your own thoughts. (laughs) (laughs) Don't bring me into this. I like... Give me that big trans nigga. (laughs) (laughs) What? Savon is going crazy. He's like... Flag. Flag. Flag again. (laughs) How many flags, Savon? Nine? At least. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh bleep all God. of that by the way yeah. keep it but bleep it holy shit oh she said where you gonna take me murder mm. <laughs> oh, we getting killed everywhere such just got killed the move did it when it went and she said man shit I cried a little bit I did I did I cried Oh, why'd you cry I cried nah cry? but some broke her record too like I could understand that Trev felt a connection you can see it yeah more why'd you cry yeah I don't, why did that part make you cry because it was deep to me. Okay. It wasn't deep to you. Uh, it was It was a real thing. I don't know if it, the emotion of crying didn't come over you me. You ever wondered about like why I feel so connected to that community? Um, yeah. No, but tell, tell us. I don't know if, I'm, if we're there yet. <laughs> no, come on. We're I don't know if there. we're there. Episode 373. We're long there. time ago. Long time ago. And listen, a lot of the things that I was introduced, that I've been introduced to, or that I know about, a lot of things I know about is because I was actually introduced to it, right? Mm-hmm. Let me start there. That's a great and way I'll try to, to speak from. And, I'll, and, and when I was young, when I was very, very young, maybe 14, 15, 16, in the prime years of me learning how to do dirt, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm talking about robbing and fighting and all of that stupid shit that you learn, my road dog in grime, mm-hmm. like the guy that we 
robbed and stole and smoked and did everything with who shall remain anonymous, his brother was trans. Okay. In a time that it was probably not. This is in the nineties. The most popular. Oh, this yeah, is was, this yeah, is yeah, this yeah. is nineties. Yeah. 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 yeah, this wasn't popular yeah. at all. And wasn't something you ran into every day. And this was my guy, guy, my guy, my guy, my guy. We were never taught to look at him differently right. because his mm-hmm. whole family will kill you. Right. <laughs> yeah. And that was just what it is. Mm-hmm. And he was the coolest thing in the world. Great, great, great guy. And he was murdered. Mm. Oh, wow. And he was just murdered because. Just because of what he was. Uh, that's, and that's horrible. That was tough. That was tough for me yeah, back sure. then. Mm-hmm. So that added to, you know, my mom was cool with all the gays, being raised with the gays. But that let me know early on about a world that I was just really unfamiliar with. Mm -hmm. And it made me ask questions. Mm -hmm. So that part get it brought me there. It's personal. Yeah, no, that's understandable. And but that's why I asked Yeah, the shit is still happening. If you have some connection to that ever happening, then Mm -hmm. that story will touch you. But I'm real glad that these stories are being told through these through these fictional tales mm-hmm. yeah. um i'm happy that a pose exists mm-hmm. i'm happy that this i'm happy this show exists and i didn't know nothing about the show going into it and the first thing i see is that the prominent role here is a trans mm-hmm. like those stories need to be told so I, I'm, I'm happy about it i'm appreciative of it and yes it's a great show i did cry it's a great show it um yeah i don't know if i was ready to share that well, here no that's what's, what's wrong with that Nothing. Yeah, no. It's, that's Just fine. none of nobody's business. <laughs> yeah, no, I went to, like I said, I went to school with uh, a bunch of uh, gay uh, gay guys. There's a few gay girls. Um, some are now trans as well that uh, I went to school with. So, I mean, that community is, you know, you growing up in New York, you're around it. Maybe sometimes you're not as, you don't have as close as friends as you have, but I went to school with them. So, I'm, I'm cool with people from all, all walks of life. Like when I say that, it's like literally, I I have friends that I can call, gay, trans, it doesn't matter. So. I'm glad New York is colorful that way. What I, w- I will say that culturally, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad. Which that- I mean, it always has been. It just was kind of more segregated in that sense. Mm-hmm. Like it was, everyone wasn't mixing and mingling the way I think they are now, which I think is great. Right. Because they was always around, but I was growing up. It's always a thing. Like mm-hmm. that's always been a thing here. Mm-hmm. But, you know, you was kind of raised to, to, come on, stay over here, don't do that type shit. Mm-hmm. Which I'm glad that's changed to some degree. It's we're, changed We're a lot. getting no, it's changed to a, a lot. place where, yeah. It's changed a lot, a lot. Because I remember, in the like Joe said, in the 90s, where we were as a world, is not just never mind New York, the world wasn't as focused or didn't shine as much light and respect on that community, on the gay community as they should. Mm-hmm. So now you, you start to see it like, Oh, they, I like to see that as normalized. It's mm. like, yeah, they're humans. We're all yeah. humans. Like, it doesn't matter what your sexual preference or orientation is. We're humans. Listen, I'm going to cry when people are killed for being gay. I'm going to cry when people are killed for being trans. I'm going to cry when people are killed for being black. Well, that's what I was going to get to. Is like, it, 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 like, it affects us because as black men, we know what it is to be, you know, outcasted or for people to look at us in a negative light just because of who we are as, as, a, as people. So, you know. Yeah, yeah. My yeah, early friendship with with my guy linked me away from some of those stereotypes that people run into mm-hmm. when you're unfamiliar with a world. Like mm-hmm. this nigga could fight. Oh, don't get like, it. Oh, no, 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 like, no. Like, don't get it. Like, don't get that shit. Don't like, get it twisted. Twisted. Like he wasn't. I don't want to say sweet because, but you know what I'm I saying. Know, I know yeah, what yeah. you're saying. I know like, what you're saying. He was people always like the hood that with loved that bitch. the hood loved. I'm not saying his name because it protects his anonymity. Rest in peace. But. Right. This was like our guy guy. Right. Yeah. So. Well, that's what I like in P-Valley because it's apparent Cliff will smoke you. Yeah. yeah. I'm waiting for Lil Murder to kill somebody. For Cliff. <laughs> it's coming. He's going to kill somebody for making a move on his people, but we'll get into that later. Spoiler did, alert, uh, if you never saw the show, really good show. They got a uh, Really, really good show. They got approved for the second season like after <clears throat> two episodes aired. Mm-hmm. I love when shit like that happens. Congratulations to them, man. And uh, quickly to close the conversation we having. I saw when you were tweeting about... Uh, yeah, I'm about to cry now. Come no, no, not... Well, <laughs> when you were tweeting about uh, Trey's college shit, you got to pay for that, and I enjoyed all those tweets. I was getting killed this this past week in my mentions of me going to college, speaking highly of college, and last week killing the shit. 
That's another thing that I have to say about living at college. You're thrown into dorm rooms with people from so many other walks of life that mm-hmm. you're now forced to live around mm-hmm. and understand better. Right. And to the conversation we have now, I had a lot of that in college. Like mm-hmm. people that I wasn't accustomed to being around and maybe had some preconceived notions about, you thrown in a building. And you living on top of each other, and now we all live in this college building, and you, you're forced to get to know these people and find out how amazing they are. Hmm. So that dorm shit in college is also helpful in that capacity. Like, get the school shit out of it. Like, the life shit. I'll never argue with you there. I'll never argue with you on any of this college stuff, because I don't know shit about shit. Hmm. But is that so much prevalent during a, pan, a pandemic? Like, I'll always pay for your kid getting the experience of life. Right. But at a, in a pandemic, are you getting that? This is a strange time to be charging yeah. for uh, I don't know. A, a room and board. When you're supposed where you're to not be. sure if anyone's going to live in the room and board. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And That's when you're supposed weird. to social I was really frustrated and college yesterday. is I had the a, opposite of that. I had a really hard day yesterday. Like I was trying to tweet through it, but I was having a really hard day. My, my kid hit me like a kid, which is, hey, everything is last minute and this needs to happen now. Yeah. Or yeah. it'll never happen. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, cool. But all right, so it's online classes. But because you signed the contract for a dorm, they expect you to pay for a dorm? And this is after me reading the reports coming from UNC about how they have a whole yep. quarantine <laughs> dorm yep. and mm-hmm. it's overbooked. They're sending kids to the hotels. And I'm like, and my head, I'm like, all this shit is a scam. Hey. You're not going to dorm. You go home. You do the online classes. You got a car. You 25 minutes away. Commute. All right. There's a fee if you cancel it. Huh? <laughs> no. I mean, outside of college, it, it's another business. So, of I course, it. it's a it. business. The dorm, They're trying the to get scam, money to. The dorm scam is a big part of the college expense scam, in my experience. I didn't live on dorms, and I saved a shitload of money. Like, it was basically the, the cost of a room in a dorm was like damn near a luxury apartment. I lived yeah, in like a regular a, shit. Uh, well, that's what it's it about, is. It's about three. Yeah. It's about three grand. Like I could go get a lux. I could go get a luxury yeah. apartment for my kid, right. close to college, and come out cheaper. Exactly. Than oh yeah, the dorm money. Well, and then it's Joe, like that's why so many people live off campus. Like after, percentage wise, most people after sophomore year move to an apartment if you're in a state that would provide or a campus around there, because it's like all right, wait, I'm paying three grand damn near month for this room with another person that I can touch if I reach my hand out. Yeah. Granted, that also has food as well, but you a college kid. You be eating fucking yeah, noodles. Yeah. Dude, come on. That shit don't matter. Yeah. So yeah, most people move out at that point and then you have your own spot. Like Here's- when I got kicked out and went around the corner in Jersey City, I had my own spot. I was like, holy shit, this is the greatest thing that ever happened to me. Right. Thank God I got kicked off campus. Yeah. And then I eventually got kicked out completely, but that's neither here nor there. Here's something I'd have never known as a, uh, as a dropout. So apparently the financial aid only applies to the dorm. <laughs> no, that's not entirely true at all. Well, that's dep- what my it kid's it running it to me. Well, it, Joe, it depends Joe, on whatever the tuition. the tuition fee is, the financial aid, they ain't chalking it up over there. They're taking it off of the, the dorm rate. I know you don't want to clout chase and say you're rich, but y- yeah. No, financial Rory. aid is significant more to classes than it is to campus life. That's the other part that may, has me feeling insecure about being scammed by the, the colleges. Number one, if you're going to scam me, don't involve my kid. Just scam me. Mm-hmm. Fair. One. And uh, two, damn, what was that point you just made? What did you just say? Uh, the financial aid is not specific oh, to dorm Oh, that's dorm the other life. thing I got to worry about. Now you, my, I named my kid the same name as me. I sent him up there to say, hey, check out hey, what's going on. Hey, we ain't trying to pay that shit. Mm-hmm. And now he's up there, hey, I'm Joe Button. I ain't trying to pay this shit. <laughs> I'm going to end up just having to pay, yeah. which I'm mad about. Yeah. I'm mad about it. I'm mad about being scammed from some shit not through me via my kid. I am mad about it. His girlfriend is already packed up in there. She's there. Mm. His crew is there. Mm. Wait, what year is Trey? Sophomore, Sophomore right? now. Yeah. All right, all right. His crew so is let- set up at the school. Everybody's rocking except for him because of me. Mm. All right. Let this semester pass. You and I will sit down. I know this 
college shit in and out. Take a gap year. That's what the college kids told me. A gap year. Is that, that does that do anything? No, that's no, only. No, that's, that's a only, waste. All right, just forget it. Never mind. And, <laughs> just, just and forget by the way, anything. only only white people have that privilege of let me just take a year. Oh, to find myself. another one. Damn, <laughs> yeah. they get gap yeah. in a gap year. Yeah. Yeah. Only white people can. Well, let me find myself. It only happens yeah, no. with white people. And gap people, insurance. We uh, try to find yeah, ourselves. It takes us thirty years. Uh, seriously, let me help you with Trace. I know all the loopholes. Help my kid with school and rap. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm trying to help your money. Um, and I appreciate that. Right. Yeah, I just texted you everything. Yeah, no, I'm on it. NASFA. NASFA. <laughs> FASFA. Fast. E- e- EOF program. FASFA. It's an acronym. See, it puts me in a bind because like some shit going on, some shit's going wrong. As a parent, you want to go up there to the college and talk to somebody, but then it's like. Yeah, no, like I get it. Go up there and talk to somebody. <laughs> like one of them. Yeah. All right. Um, is there anything else important that we have managed to miss or joke through or joke over uh, or I not pay enough attention to? Did anything happen the, while we were recording? They arrested the gentlemen that were harassing uh, the woman in Long Island. The the what seemed to be white supremacists that were harassing the black woman that bought the house oh, in Long that's Island. That's good. Yeah. That the gentleman Flo was guarding. Good. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's a friend of the show. And and shout out to everyone that protected that house for for that long. Yeah. Uh, rest it's crazy peace. it had to come to that, but... Yeah, yeah. Rest in peace to Quinn Coleman, uh, DJ and A&R at Capitol. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Rest in peace. Uh, I didn't know the gentleman, but it appeared that he definitely had an impact uh, on a lot of people. And that so was... Rest uh, in peace. That's Deborah Lee's son, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 He was 31. Per- and we don't... They, didn't young, say how young he man. passed, yeah. but you know, prayers, prayers to the family. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Anything uh, else that we may have? Uh, we didn't really get into the the uh, TikTok United Masters thing for real, so I guess maybe we could. I didn't that. get into it because uh, the U.S. government. I didn't get into it because the U.S. government has been telling us that TikTok is horrible for how many months. I totally agree with that one. Then Trump has been coming out saying. TikTok needs to be sold. And I don't know anything about that, but I think he sounds like he's serious and it might be a threat. So cool. And then Kanye, who has had meetings with Trump, has come out and said, hey, I want to buy TikTok. I just don't like all that ticking shit y'all doing. I want to change it to Christian talk and make it more (laughs) gospelly. And see, like a year ago, I said, Kanye says stuff for me that's really, really scary because he's capable. Mm. And that's where we are here. Yeah. Just last week or two weeks ago, Trump said, hey, they need to sell to an American company for me to let them continue to operate. Right. And now here we have Kanye saying, hey, I would like to purchase them. And now we have a United well, Masters deal directly, with TikTok that says, hey, you can sell your music. You can sell music through here. And now I'm just as angry as I am with Norwegian Spotify having such a dominant role in music. And Chinese TikTok having such a dominant role in music. I'm back to my point with the Little Wayne Drake argument about people that are not of us just having so much control of us. So I'm not saying anything about it because mm. it's nasty. Yeah. But y'all might have a different take. So rock out. But I don't find the TikTok shit funny. I think it's nasty. And I think what they're attempting to do right before our very eyes like the fucking J.P. Morgan Coke boat yeah. is nasty. <laughs> So more will be revealed, and I am waiting to see it. Mm-hmm. I also do not sleep on the 2% of the population that is said to be voting for Kanye. I know it seems like a very small number. That's 2% of the country is not yeah. a small number at all. That's a very large number. Uh, look into your... Hillary s- lost by like 60,000 votes. No, she won by 3 she million. Won. She, no, won. She, won the, she won the popular vote. Yeah, she lost she the... Lost the Electoral College, yeah. She lost wherever she needed to lose by like 60 or 70 million. Yeah. She lost something yeah. by lost a the, number the, that the she felt like, The way to the election and the electoral, but her popular, if you go by the amount of votes that were submitted, she won by the popular vote. She lost by the Electoral College. I'm not sleeping. Each state having the I say this to say, I'm not, I don't have all the facts for you. I'm not Ebony K. Williams. <laughs> but Joey something K, is, Joey K. Williams. come on, man, you know the vibes. You know the vibes. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, something fishy is going on. So until I have more information, I'm just watching it all. I'm watching it all, but I'm watching, hey, niggas are saying their mailboxes are being stolen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they, the postmaster is having a, uh, 
hearing in front of the House of Representatives talking about why he's doing what he's doing. But uh, in lieu of that, he announced that any changes that he was going to make to the Postal Service will happen after November so the optics don't appear that they're trying to fuck with the election, even though the president has said we're doing it to fuck with the election. Uh, that being that's, said, that's been apparent. Uh, early voting is a thing. Mail-in voting and absentee voting are a thing, and you should look into it. I already have placed my order or whatever to get my shit. I suggest anybody listening do the same. For early voting? Early voting, absentee voting, mail-in voting, but do it not uh, at the last second because... I voted for the last election by mail. I voted for the local uh, shit by mail. Mm-hmm. Like, There's nothing yeah, wrong I've, I've done it by mail, too. <laughs> yeah, I've just been mailing. I just don't trust any of that. Me neither. By mail, like, who am I mailing this to? Like, where's this going? They could take this and throw this shit right in but the garbage. But you can fo- you can follow up. I just don't trust this government. That's all. I mean, me either. Stop stealing the fucking mailboxes. <laughs> Word. <laughs> and then turn it around and tell us that the mail USPS is not a profitable service. <laughs> a lot of mail. Gets- <sighs> I'm, I'm just <laughs> telling you. Come November, you know, usually they'll say who the president is by. 2, 3 a.m. that next day. Bro, that shit ain't happening until December, January, if we're lucky. You might be right. <laughs> There's no fucking way there That's will be a clear election. winner. Yeah. That's why I'm encouraging uh, voting. I don't even voting think, early. actually, I take that back. In the year 2020, there won't be a clear winner. That shit will go to January or past. You sleeping on Cardi. <laughs> Joe nah, you're right. Nah, you're right. You're right, man. <laughs> I think that should have been in minute one, but <laughs> I mean, made it made it in. <laughs> we'll get into Cardi and Joe, uh, Joe Biden on Saturday. Hey, somebody send me a picture of uh, a recent picture of, C- of Cardi and Bernie Bernie Sanders. Cardi ain't seen Bernie since he uh, <laughs> since, since he bowed out. She ain't hit Bernie up. Yeah, she wasn't feeling so killer Mike <laughs> with Bernie. These politicians, though, I just want to be in the the war room or whatever you call the room that they come up with things where they're like, call Cardi. <laughs> She'll get it done. I think that Cardi uh, is doing it on her own accord, though. I do. I think Cardi is super passionate about politics. Yeah. I, I also well. think I that well. her audience is large enough for the politicians to just look at numbers and want to attack that. Yeah, yeah obviously. Absolutely. I don't think they really know about Cardi. I don't think they care about Cardi. I think Cardi is awesome, and I think this is a hell of a situation that she's in. Yeah. Uh, but if I, I see Cardi with Biden or Bernie Sanders again, I'm a cook. I listen. I and niggas don't just be in a rush to get up and cook. I'm gonna just get up and cook something. I completely <laughs> agree with everything you're saying. I would just like if Biden speaks once every two weeks, that maybe he balances this out and talks to some other people. I was stressing with my little bit of Botox I got. I look at Biden's forehead. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, fam, them pinches was hurting him. They hurt. Look at his face. <laughs> look at him. Look. <laughs> it hurt just making his normal face. Sleepy Joe. Mm-hmm. Look at Cardi looking beautiful and luxurious. She, does, she does look really good. Repping for us. And I enjoyed the interview. I just, Biden should talk to some other people as well. Cardi's rebrand like is, is no. Is, he shouldn't talk to me. Yes, Biden should, should never Rory. talk do to that. me. Don't do that, Rory. Biden should never talk. Love to yourself, me. man. <laughs> what? <laughs> Love yourself. Biden. Biden could talk to you, man. We don't want Biden talking to you during uh, an election time where there may be some answers that I don't have. No, no, he shouldn't be speaking to me. I feel you. They never have answers. They just tell you about what their proposals are. Yeah, I think I got proposals too, <laughs> <laughs> and they didn't work out either. <laughs> Hold up, wait right there. Oh, wait, gotta turn it up. Hey! All right, man. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and give you all these sleepers, man. September 22nd, we're going wide, man. <laughs> you see what? You hating? I ain't even say that. I just laughed. But you showed me something. And then I, that made me laugh. You know what's funny about that? This is why me and you are like good fake friends. Because I just seen that. Yeah. And I. Like I should show him all, but I'm a chill. <laughs> no, I'm gonna show you. Show her, show her, show her. I Violence and drugs only, man. Um, I, man. <laughs> Ma, I, I still don't know what Ma's laughing at. That's what you're supposed to do. 
in that no, situation. No, this is not what you're supposed to do, Joe. Yo, you know what I don't I'm get clowned. You say that. Yo, you know what I don't get clowned I'm, about I'm enough. I'm this just in case he decides that. We're this, this is what I don't get clowned about enough, and I'm not saying this <laughs> for y'all to clown me. <laughs> just in case somebody I'm, tells I'm, him. To I'm glad it. that this is like a forgotten thing with me, but fam, I uploaded a Twitter Abby of me eating somebody's vagina. That's nuts. <laughs> uh, recently? No, this is. Nah. Oh, you talking about? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember. Nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's what you see. I was like, wait, recently? That's what yeah, you but wasn't you like high? <laughs> yeah, but that don't. You gotta stop just that blaming don't matter. Matter. But that don't matter. <laughs> yeah, that don't matter. We can't blame that nah, shit. Nah, it should matter. I was. No, I was still. No, 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 I wasn't just high. That was high. They wasn't doing it. Yeah, that. but I wasn't high. I was zooted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mo, I don't know if you've ever been like high, high. I was going. You be doing some dumb shit. I was zooted. Cause you can't that I you can't blame on being high because like, that takes nah, too much. Nah, like, nah, I mean, eat your work. shit. We gonna upload it. It's, it's art. All right, it's, never mind. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay, I take everything I say back. If you plan this, sick. That I was a high some, plan. I've high had some plan. impulsive high shit. I don't know if I've done a whole plot, put a filter on it, and then even figured out how to change my Tw- avi at that time in Twitter. Twenty thirteen, <laughs> thirty three years old. I thought that was the thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy, right? Um, how much? Well, how was the photo? Fire. Okay. A little too much HDR. <laughs> well, we all put, that was when I was in H- HDR phase. Everything was every, cartoony. Well, all of us were in that phase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that HDR phase. Was outside wanted, of the H- to be cartoons. <laughs> outside of the HDR, it was a good. It was. What a good do we photo. all like about HDR? Because now I look back at all those photos and think this looks the horrible. Shit, but when it happened, I thought it was the greatest filter that ever. Oh no, existed. it was the greatest thing ever for me. I've always hated everything about myself, including how I look. So anything that can alter my <laughs> appearance, I'm signing up for. Yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> Right. I might have to hit the timeline with HDR tomorrow just to remind him. <laughs> Can reminder, we still get HDR? Reminder. Yeah, wait, wait. Let's just hey, see if hey, I can find an app. I hey, know what you was trying to do. I, it, that was one of the worst. No, Never mind. Forget it. I'm going to keep it going just so more can say, reminder, reminder. Got to th- give you niggas th- a reminder. That throwaway remind. cheesy record. Come on. That, what, are you, what are you? That they put on. Don't do that. That was a throwaway cheesy no, record. You, yo. <laughs> This is caping. <laughs> <laughs> this is caping. You are giving that that horrific hove hook to being a Jeezy record. Oh no, I'm thinking reels to get. That was on Blueprint Three. Reminder. Yeah, You're correct. I, I th- had to get you niggas a reminder. I was thinking. Of, I was thinking of that record. Yeah, no, no, right. that record is a lot harder. Reminder. I was confusing the two. Yes. <laughs> he had to remind you. Yo, no. <laughs> right, this song. It's this, a few records I want to unhear. This was bad. This is bad, man. Hey. (laughs) Matter of fact, Parks Parks drums are better than (laughs) whatever Parks is doing makes it sound better. Yo, that went before Reminder was this song. Oh my God, I hate this song. And I love Blueprint 3, but this little there was a little stretch, this little stretch right here. Jay was going through something. He was trying some shit, man. I'm Fuck just, it. I'm trying to get us the title, you know, <laughs> Go ahead, Rory. What else Jay did whack? <laughs> Come on. Go, go through your whole list. <laughs> you already lost your little day party. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> keep, your little keep, day party. <laughs> Joe is an idiot. Oh, man. Oh, wait, no. I kind of like this song. I didn't hate this song. I kind of like this song. I'll do that. No, I like this song, Rory. This is what... I may or may not... Turn this down. Turn this down. I told you, Hove will always find that obscure voice I love. Who's this? Chris Martin? Yeah, Uh, Mr. Hudson. Uh, Oh, him, same thing. He's done mad. He's done mad. Chris Martin. He's done... uh, What's the other white guy that the Carters love? He was on the Beyonce album, 444. Chris Martin and yeah, nah, so, nah, yeah, nah. it was Chris Martin and Mr. It's Hudson. A, it's another one. Yeah, no, Chris Martin. No, it's Chris Martin's homeboy. No, uh, James Blake. This nigga, uh, James Blake. Yeah. James yeah. Blake. Yeah. All of those people are Guyler Guyler Gray to me. <laughs> Guyler Grays. <laughs> Hove, I'm just kidding. I love every record you've ever put out. Nah, he ain't fucking with that. <laughs> oh, this one Hove. This one Hove tried to make a Hove tried to make a little George Michael record. Come on, this, this, was, was, a, this was a midlife crisis. Record. Well. I don't think that's what Jay wanted to retire, but he wasn't sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm it still sounds like I'm waving goodbye to the game, but I, I don't want they'll miss me. Will this they is still like miss what me? you play at four o'clock in the morning? <laughs> but, when but, you're I'm, to, but I'm about to do watch you're the too throne. Drunk. <laughs> <laughs> you smoke a cigarette and you go to bed. Oh man! Yeah. <laughs> when you haven't faced your own mortality yet. 
That's all. Yeah. This is Rory on the Ox. <laughs> this is Rory. Yeah, Jay, this is look, Rory man, on the Ox. In, Jay, look. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, nah, not at all. I don't even. What's a phone? I don't even have a phone. <laughs> I don't even have a phone, Jay, buddy. Jay is well aware that I'm a stan. All right. Oh shit! Wait. The music. This over. The pod is over. That's what I started this shit with. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh no! I mean, I can I can bring it back. Da, 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 nah, we cool. Hater, <laughs> we cool. Hater, 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 This a story of boys choir. <laughs> It's insane. I got a trick for y'all. I'm out yeah, of here. Get us right out of there, Joe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, we out here. I got you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, real good pod today after we make a few minor edits. <laughs> yeah. I love Blueprint 3. <laughs> just edit out all that last part and just drop right there. <laughs> I do really love Blueprint 3. We do. It actually. was just those like two or three songs yeah. that I was like, from like right, 13 to Could have kept 15, these off. Yeah. Hey! Yeah! Man, I should have started the pod I don't like think this. what you played, yeah. No, it's not. This is the record I was going to play after the second record, but we were 20 minutes in, so there's no point. All right, real good pod, man. I got to go because I got to catch this Laker game. I have to see Caruso get abused and used. He won't see me. And I time. know he's about to because I, I hit Dame and said, yo. And that's cloud chasing. See, just FS, I hit Dame. Uh, hey, what are you talking about? Hypocrite. But I did hit him and I said, yo, you better not let Caruso get loose tonight. <laughs> he didn't reply. What do you think that means for fucking Alex? He's in kill mode. Oh my god! All right, we will be back on Wednesday. I mean Saturday. <laughs> Saturday. This felt like a Saturday pod to me, but we was grooving. We'll be back on Saturday, same time, same place. You already know the vibes.